Konami. I don't know why I feel really nervous right now. <laughs> I don't get it. I feel so nervous right now. Oh no. Do I Haku? Thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the birthday wishes. Patrick, thank you. Thank you for the birthday wish. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Why nervous? I think it's because uh, I'm I've got a dumb brain. I think I've got a dumb brain. I'm gonna be honest. I think it's because like this this stream is about me. <laughs> this stream is about me. It's not just me piloting it. No, it's it's me piloting it piloting it, and it's about me specifically. And that's like. That's a lot for me. Um, Sherry Glare, thank you for leveling up. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I feel nervous being like the the full center of attention. <laughs> I am the host and the birthday boy. It's true. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Also, Terry, I saw that dono. Here's your mwah. Stinky, thank you. <laughs> it was very, very sweet. I know you said I don't need to mention it, but I'm doing it anyways. I'm doing it anyways. You can't stop me. It's almost like everyone's watching. I know that's crazy. <laughs> Who does that? <laughs> Outcaster, thank you for leveling up. Thank you, thank you. And thank you for that lovely birthday message. Fine punk, I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> Passing by to say happy birthday. Thank you so much. Thank you. My monitor is off. Oh, that's great. I love that. Nobody look at me. Nobody observe anything. Especially not my Peppa Pig cake and my <laughs> Tama and my, my drinking cat. Actually, look at them. Don't look at me. Don't. Don't think about don't look at me. Don't acknowledge me. I'm not here. Whose birthday? Not me. <laughs> not me. Super duper not me. No no no. It's some other person, right? Right? Oh god. Okay. Alright. So I wanna, I wanna get started with uh, some of the things that you guys have sent, and and uh, then we'll look at Twitter for anything that might have not made it onto here. And I know that there's some things not showing up in the tags, so I will do my best. If I don't see your post in the tag, um, if you see me not see it, please go ahead and at me in it. <laughs> <laughs> after we look at everything in the tags, okay? I don't want to miss it if you've if you made something and Twitter's being stupid and not showing it in the tag. Happy birthday, Nami Chan! Stay always so Genki! Thank you, Nox! Thank you, thank you! <laughs> Jelt Ditch, thank you for leveling up! Thank you, thank you! Happy birthday, Nami! Can't wait for more wiggles and more dung goof. That's every day of my life. <laughs> Every day of my life. My gift won't be ready till tomorrow. That is totally fine. We're seeing Nami on the back foot for once. I'm caught off guard. I don't I don't know what to do with this much attention. <laughs> you would think I would have been like this crazy nervous uh, uh, for my debut. I feel like I had more of a handle on my debut than this. <laughs> I had a plan. I knew what I was doing. I knew what to expect. And this, I'm like, ah. <laughs> Ark, thank you for leveling up. Thank you, thank you. Dropping by to say happy birthday again, Nami. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. KB, happy birthday, my healer. Hope this day is one to remember. Much love, Nami. Thank you, KB. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> no plan, just good vibes. I have vague plans, right? We're here to look at all the, the stuff you guys sent. 
and then um, once we look at everything, we're gonna have some talking and maybe a bit of totsumachi. I've told the girls, I'm like, hey, <laughs> I will be in the Discord after we look at all the stuff. So if you want to come through and, and, and talk. <laughs> oh, man. It's like... Oh, why can't I suddenly read hiragana? I'm so I'm so nervous that I can't read hiragana. Am I well? Am I well? <laughs> I feel like my hands are kind of shaky too. I'm a, I'm in a state. I'm in a state. Don't don't pay attention to me. Nobody look at me. All right, yeah. Thank you, Kanori. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Since you won't be able to read the Roman alphabet, I know, I know. I'm not gonna be able to read at all or talk or do anything. I'm just gonna be... I'm gonna be in trouble. You sound sweaty somehow. I feel like that's gonna happen. <laughs> I'm gonna end up being so sweaty tonight. I'm gonna- I'm gonna be so sweaty tonight. Slowly- slowly losing all our senses. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> the birthday sweat. Oh. We have just started. You are not late. You're not late. I'm... Alright, alright. Let's- let's go look at the- the... The, 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 the padlet. <laughs> With all the stuff. Alright, let's go look. So, you guys have so much for me to look at. We're gonna, we're gonna take it one at a time. I, this says mute it. I'm sorry. You will not hear it. But I'm gonna watch it. We're gonna react. I see Mr. Bean. <laughs> I see Mr. Bean. He's here. Oh, 46 seconds. All right. You guys just vibe to the BGM and the reaction to it, I guess. <laughs> if you haven't seen the Padlet yourself. <laughs> if you have access to it, I guess you can watch along. I'm going insane immediately. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. I... <laughs> it's Sanic. It's Sanic. <laughs> it's so quick. I had to see it again. Reina. Reina. Thank you so much. <laughs> What an opening. Absolutely incredible. It's stunning. Beautiful. I love it. Oh my gosh. The Sanic. Oh. Alright. Let's get... Let's do some reading. <laughs> oh goodness. Perfect opening. I love it. Happy birthday, Nami! That's me. Even though you've only been with us for a few months so far, your streams are always fun, and I never know what to expect. Love the tangents, even if they're a little cursed sometimes. A little spice is what makes it special. My tangents are great. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you have a wonderful birthday and keep being our healer for a long time to come. Heavy Roku, thank you so much, Heavy! Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You're Nami? <gasps> Say it ain't so. Me, Nami? Crazy talk. This is so cute! 
Happy birthday, Nami! The couple months we spent together have been so much fun. Can't wait for even more. Thank you, Ark! It's so, so cute! That cake looks so good. <laughs> that cake looks so good. You've been Nami this whole time? I know, right? Crazy. What the fuck is a Nami? <laughs> friend that was playing 14 and was being like, oh, look, there's Thinkrid. And every time I was like, what the fuck is a Thinkrid? <laughs> it was the stupidest bit, but I kept doing it. And I kept doing it for, like, I don't know, it brought me joy. <laughs> Who? Happy birthday, Nami! Happy birthday, Nami! It's been a wild journey watching and enjoying your streams for the past few months. Also got some interesting tangents, but we'll save that for later. Here's to being the silly, dorky, and spicy healer that everyone needs. Can't wait to make more memories with you and the Herojis. TNT! Thank you, TNT! <laughs> thank you, thank you. Stay committed to the bit. That's what I'm good at. It'll be weeks later and I'll be like, what the fuck is a thing, <laughs> What is a thing grid? What? Who is that? TNT, thank you. I hope uh, Super Animal Royale is treating you well. I hope it's treating you well. <laughs> really makes you think. Oh, goodness. Happy birthday, Nami! Cute, cute art. Is that a mustache? <laughs> That's slim. All right. All right. You were also talking about Super Animal Royale TNT. Don't you start with me. <laughs> You're like, oh no, I'm going to get addicted. I remember. I remember. You can't, you can't gas like me. That's my job. That's my job. <laughs> Gas like uh, gatekeep girl boss, right? I need an intervention for him. Oh, he just he refuses to believe. All right, I understand. I understand. <laughs> I understand. Oh, happy birthday, Nami! Happy birthday, Nami! Your streams are amazing. Please keep healing us with good vibes and cursed tangents this year too. Stay beast, Wede. Thank you, Wede. It's so cute. I love it. I love the mustache. <laughs> I love the mustache. It's so good. Level up. That's me. I'm leveling up. To what level? Who knows? No one knows. Happy birthday, Nami! The little time we spent together has made so many wonderful memories. I'm so grateful to have met you. Here's to a lot, lot more time spent having lots of fun and creating more memories to hold dear. Mako! Thank you so much, Mako! It's so, so cute! I love it! My little pose. That's me! Level up! <laughs> Such a nice modification, right? I need a mustache on my hat. I need a mustache on my hat. I actually, I, I, I found a way to turn my hat off, uh, the other day. <laughs> but, like, the veil doesn't go all the way under the hat, so I just have, like, a bald-looking spot there if I turn it off with nothing, <laughs> nothing covering it. <laughs> it's so, so much. It's not like actually bald, there's hair there, but it makes me feel bald. It makes me feel bald. Like, you know, if you ever see someone take something off that they always wear, that's like a, 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 a ribbon or a hat, you're just like, oh, you're bald. <laughs> you're bald under there. We need to see this. Okay, maybe at the end. Maybe at the end, it's a, it's a it's a bit of effort. I have to reload everything. I would have to put all my hats back on. <laughs> put 
put the hats back on. The effort, okay? Please understand. Happy birthday, Nami! It's been some amazing few months with you. Thank you for always putting a goofy smile on my face every time I come and tune in. I'm so excited for what the future beholds with a cute dork like yourself. Bowie! Thank you so much! This art is super cute. That cake looks so good. <laughs> Look at all the fruit on the cake! I want this cake. I will pretend I get this cake and all the delightful fireworks. Man, I've never had anyone make that big of a deal of my birthday. <laughs> thank you so much, Barry. Thank you, thank you. That's so sweet. So, so sweet. Probably even sweeter than the cake. Bald, let's go. You guys are only here for bald. I understand. I get it. I know what you want. Just bald. <laughs> My dear husband, my dear wife, Barry. <laughs> Leah! Hi, Leah! Hi, hi, hi! Thank you, thank you so much! Thank you, thank you for coming by. Here for Nami, but bald is a cherry on top. Everyone's bald. Bald and beans. Bald and beans, I know. I know what it's like. <laughs> I see the truth. You don't know me. Snowboard's away. <laughs> no, one of my favorite N64 games was Snowboard Kids. That just makes me think of that. <laughs> that just makes me think of Snowboard Kids. Happy birthday, Nami. Happy birthday to the best harm assistant OG there is. Even if it's been a few months, I just really enjoy your content. From the tangents to the curse to the hilarious. <laughs> You are an amazing and entertaining person. I wish you nothing but the best for this beat day and a new year full of great memories with me and the rest of the Hirojis. KB! Thank you so much, KB! You guys, you're gonna make people think I do cursed things all the time. <laughs> new Valeric, thank you so much for that. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys are gonna make people think I'm like cursed. What's up with that? <laughs> Nothing cursed ever happens here. That's not that's not what we do here. We don't we don't have cursed things. No, 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 no. You guys are wrong. There's no curse. <laughs> we want beans bald and we want to be beaten. No, 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 no. You guys are very well behaved. And there's never anything cursed, and everything's always great and happy and sunshine. <laughs> Nami made me buy Soylent. No, I did not. No, I did not. I didn't make you do anything. I didn't make you do anything at any point in time. I refuse to have any responsibility. Uh, there is a very, very, very fine print. <laughs> At the bottom of each uh, chat description, uh, each each live stream description that says, I am not responsible for any actions taken by you uh, influenced by the stream. Please understand. <laughs> <laughs> Nami made me ill. No, 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 no. Maybe play SAR. I did not make you do anything. <laughs> I didn't make you do anything. Happy birthday, Nami. Hi, Nami. Happy birthday. It's been a great couple of months of you blessing us with your tangents, your laughs, and beans. Thank you for being born. <laughs> and being who you are. Thank you, breathing. Thank you, thank you. I don't know why the phrase, thank you for being born, is so funny to me. <laughs> Thanks for being born! That's such just like... <laughs> the pure essence. The pure essence of that. The pure essence of like, thanks for existing at all. It's so good. I love it. I love it. Oh. I look... Oh wait, 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 wait. Okay. This, first off... Great art. Second off, this is my martial arts movie uh, poster. 
This is my martial arts movie poster. Can you see it? Can you envision it? This is me on uh, the Shimu cover. <laughs> this is how it should be. <laughs> This is how it should be. I'm ready. My revenge inning, it's here. It's here. <laughs> Happy birthday to our healer, Nami. Even if our time is not aligned, I will always love watching your streams and VODs. Can't wait for more streams and memories to be made. Have a wonderful birthday, Walbin. Thank you so much, Walbin. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> that would look amazing, right? Like, this is perfect for it. This is perfect for it. I'm the next Karate Kid. I'm the next Karate Kid. Feliz cumpleaños! Hey! <laughs> Happy birthday, Nami. In these past couple of months, you've brought a sincere amount of happiness for not just me, but for a lot of us. Your streams are always enjoyable and fun to watch. And even when I can't attend live, I still enjoy the VOD. Continue being your fun self, our dearest somewhat say-so healer. <laughs> Thank you, Zavi. Thank you, thank you. Gonna throw some punches? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna take some uh, kickboxing. Some kickboxing classes. I'm ready to go. That has nothing to do with martial arts, but I don't know. Kickboxing is what came to mind first for punches. <laughs> somewhat say so. Depending on the day, depending on the time of day, somewhat say so. Occasionally. Occasionally. Taking them to beat us up? That's what you guys want, okay? <laughs> Just don't do a high kick. I can do high kicks. I'm, I'm actually pretty flexible. I can do a high kick and I can do splits. Obviously not in this skirt. <laughs> but I can, I can do a high kick. Easy. No problem. No problem. You know me too well. Who gave you the idea we want to get beaten up? By the way, can you slap me in the face real quick? Do a flip. I can't do a flip. <laughs> I might be able to get a, a, a round off. Is the skirt really stopping you? I guess it wouldn't. Technically, it just wouldn't end up proper. <laughs> it wouldn't end up right. <laughs> oh... How much do we got to donate for you to do a flip or round off? I can't do that in here. My room's like a shoebox. <laughs> Not that you would even know. <laughs> Maybe one day when we get 3D Nami and plenty of space to do it. Maybe one day I'll have to do a round off for you guys. We'll see if that's even possible. We'll have to see if that's possible. All right, happy birthday, Nami. Happy birthday to the killer healer. I mean, Nami. It's almost three months we've been together with the community and I love every moment you did on stream slash Twitter. Keep loving cards and beads like always. Enjoy your special day today, Salia. Salia, this is so cute. <laughs> Nene, Nene, hi. Thanks for coming by and thank you, thank you so much. I can't believe YouTube did you dirty like that with that first heart. <laughs> Thank you so much, Nene. Quoting you on that? All right, I won't remember. I'll be like, that doesn't sound real. That doesn't sound real. <laughs> and I don't love cars. That's not what we do here. Beans are okay. <laughs> Beans are okay, but not the cars. No cars. Oh boy. Oh boy. I got a big old knife. Big, big knife. Big, big knife. Wow. Happy birthday 2.0. Oh, okay. So there's another, yeah. Ahoy, Nami. I wanted to also say thank you very much for motivating many of us to do what we love and giving us advice and tips. But that's... It's also fun talking on tangents with you. Thank you for being such a great motivator. <laughs> We'll have to get to the other, the, the, the 1.0 to see the rest of it. But our commission from here, my friend Mizu. Thank you, Kiri. I like my big knife, my big machete. 
My big knife. It's not how you told us... <laughs> taught us how to hold that, though. That's okay. This is more for the dramatic effect. I'm not in a knife fight right now. It's more about the threat. It's more about the threat, right? The concept. The concept of the knife is what's important here. <laughs> Happy birthday, Nami. Have a lovely day today. Thank you so much, Jarens. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Just potato. Oh, poor potato. Potatoes are good, too. I like potatoes. Concept of the knife hurts way more than the steel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But here's the one point, oh. oh, happy birthday, Nami. It's been such a great time knowing you and becoming part of the Chosen Hero. Jeez. You are so spectacular and amazing, and I'm glad I got to know you. Keep it going, and I can't wait to see future streams. Again from Kiri. Thank you, thank you. Oh, that was a big burp someone did in the house. That wasn't me. <laughs> it wasn't me. Not this time. Happy birthday, healer lady. Thank you, comrade Mai. Thank you, thank you. Pouting or hiding biggies? No, pout. It's a pout. I would never hide the ch the the biggies. They would be eaten too quickly. I sneezed before stream, and I thought you guys might want to know that, so I might not sneeze on stream. <laughs> it wasn't me. It wasn't me. You know, much like Shaggy, it wasn't me. Keeping the sneezes again. I don't mean to. I just needed to sneeze and it happened. Sorry. <laughs> you guys get lots of sneezes. You get a you get a decent amount of sneezes. Happy birthday, Nami! I'm just glad I'm in a timeline where you exist. I always enjoy your stream so much. It always makes me smile seeing you stream and interacting with the Hirojis. We, the Hirojis, will always be here for you. Remember that, Nami. We will support and watch you grow until the end. You deserve all the love and support. Cheers, and to more memories being together. <laughs> more memories together. I can read. I saw the beans, and I was like, ah, oh, beans. <laughs> beans! Mabu. Thank you, Mabu. Thank you, thank you. It's so cute. I love it. I love it. <laughs> With all, all the Hirojis. All the Hirojis. Beans indeed. Beans, beans. Happy birthday, Nami! I hope that you have a wonderful day. And of course, good luck on your future endeavors. And hope to listen to more of your karaoke's. I love it! Fumaru! Thank you so much, Fu! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Never enough sneezes. You guys are insatiable. <laughs> You guys are insatiable. Not been here very long. What is the context of beans? I say ah beans. And so now everyone is obsessed with beans. Everyone's obsessed with beans because I have a tendency to say ah beans. When something goes bad, it's ah beans. <laughs> to the point that they asked me for a bean emoji. As you can see. Did someone say beans? <laughs> Embrace the bean. Always more beans. Beans, beans, beans. Bunch of bean boys here. Didn't know the context of beans until now. Yeah, it's just because I say all beans. <laughs> That's it. It's just because I say all beans. Oh my gosh, the twist. <laughs> twist classy. <laughs> Happy birthday, Nami. Hey, Nami. I'm thankful I found you and the rest of Kawaii and I'm able to catch your streams. The last few months have been kind of awful. Oh, that... I'm sorry. That's very unfortunate. But your streams make getting up and going to work just a bit better. That I like to hear. I like to hear that. I love it when you talk about things you're passionate about, like in the picture, and take forever hammering on a different, difficult part in a game. If I've got one thing, it's determination. <laughs> determination and sheer stubbornness. 
Hopefully, this is just the first of at least a few more birthdays to come. Yeah, I hope so too. Thank you, Hannibal. Thank you, thank you. Look, we got all the usual suspects here. <laughs> We got Huere, we got TNT, we got Mabu, we got Ark, we got Novum, we got Mako, we got Nathan, we got Kiri, <laughs> we got Shankler. <laughs> oh, there's so many of you guys trapped here. Trapped here. The usual suspect. <laughs> You know, it's saucy grandpa guy. He's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. Oh, the Bean Boys. Yeah, yeah. KV. Oh, gosh. Usual, usual Bean Boys. The chains keep us from leaving. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. That doesn't sound familiar at all. <laughs> that doesn't sound familiar at all. Happy birthday, Nami! Hey, Nami! Thank you for healing my soul and mind at every stream every day! I'm very happy to have discovered you and already have so many fond memories with your streams. Thank you for all of them. There is blessed! <laughs> today is your day, so today you should feel blessed the most. I hope this day will be the best for you. Happy birthday! Thank you, Jarznia! Thank you, thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! Still denying the chain, so the bit continues. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Once again, happy birthday! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you so much, everyone. We're all there of our own free will, of course. Absolutely, yes, 100%. There's no chains, there's no shackles. I don't know... I don't know what you're talking about. Mm -mm. <laughs> that all sounds fake. Here's this beautiful, beautiful art again. And me in the little car, a cake that's definitely not Soylent with, I assume this is jelly beans. <laughs> I assume it's jelly beans. Prompy, Mr. Bean himself, Mr. <laughs> Rowan Atkinson. <laughs> the Bean Man. And the giant buff chow. The giant buff chow is gonna take me out. <laughs> I love the giant buff chow. It's really something else. And I think I'm gonna see it in my dreams someday. I think I'm gonna see Giga Chow in my dreams someday. <laughs> Happy birthday, Nami! Hope you have a lot of fun on your special day, because you're a blessed and sometimes cursed healer. Totally not Sneaky Bee. Well, thank you, thank you to Totally Not Sneaky Bee. I wonder who it could possibly be. <laughs> Happy Bean, I mean, birthday, Mommy. I mean, Nami. <laughs> thank you, Sad Boy Blue. Thank you, thank you. I want that child to tie a knot out of me. I don't. <laughs> Who? Yeah. Who? Who are these people? Oh, goodness. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Happy birthday, Nami. From Clutter Cloud 69 happy birthday, Nami. Best dealer at all time. Hope you had a good day and wish you the best. From Clutter Horology 69 my bro. Happy birthday, Nami-chan. I'm so glad to be here on your birthday. Hope you like the cake that me and 2B bought for you. It looks like a very tasty cake. To be damned, aka duck. Happy birthday, Nami. Nice to meet you here. <laughs> Have a velvet cake. Sorry if I didn't put a candle in because I forgot where I put it. Since your birthday, you can visit the purgatory anytime. That sounds like a threat. <laughs> purgatory doesn't sound like a great place, but you know what? I'll take the I'll take it. I'll take the visit. Who am I to say no? That cake do look tasty. That cake do look tasty. Thank you so much, Clutter Cloud. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Bean back there. I'm gonna be haunted by him. <laughs> I'm gonna be haunted. Oh, birthday song! Wait, alright, I gotta listen.
Thank you. That was cute. Who did that? It's not signed. <laughs> Vera, a proper gift tomorrow, but thank you for all the blessed times. Definitely helps make the hours of office work much better. Thank you and love you lots. Thank you, Pierre. Thank you. Thank you. I wonder who the, is that? Is that you, Sneaky? Who did this? Who did this? Who did this and not sign it? Excuse me. <laughs> Who? Who? <laughs> Happy birthday, here's your present. Thank you so much, Brandon. Thank you, thank you. Whose man is this? Whose man's? Can be any of us? All right, all right. Who? <laughs> well, thank you to the mystery singing Harwoji. It was very cute, I liked it. Nami Yandere, last one I commissioned for you from Kiri. This one? Hey, hey. Now, this is a vibe. <laughs> this is some nice art. I like the everything. This pretty good, pretty good flavor. <laughs> this is a pretty good flavor. The jeans. I even got a little bit wrapped around my own neck. Hey, hey. The look. Hey, hey. <laughs> That's some good art. 10 out of 10. Excellent. Wonderful. <laughs> you like to be chained? You should have been there for the classroom stream. Not that there was definitely chains there at any point in time. Mm -mm, nope. Nope. For yourself, you love to see it. It's good art. What are you talking about? A wonderfully executed, great pose and uh, perspective and uh, uh, expression. I'm just really like, wow, very admirable technique and watercolor. Uh, oh, <laughs> And now Duchi must be stinky healer. <laughs> Don't end me. Don't end me. It's, it's good art. It's good art. I like this. It's pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> Happy birthday, Nami. Hope you have a wonderful day with lots of fun. Sorry if it looks scuffed, it was made last minute. It looks great, Milu. I love it. I love all the little... We made this cake for you, Nami. I love you, Nami. Happy birthday, Nami. What happened to your rose, Nami? It's okay, we don't need it all the time. Notice me, Nami. <laughs> it's so, so cute. I love it. I love it. It's super, super cute. Very, very good. Nami mommy. <laughs> oh, gracious. Here we go, next one. Happy birthday, Nami. I hope you have a fun birthday with all the Hirojis and may the beans be strong. Think again. Thank you, thank you. Wait, there was 13 candles. I didn't count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12. Did I? I don't know how to count, maybe. <laughs> Is it 13? <laughs> I lost track. Anyways, if it's 13, that's great. Hi, Lua! If it's 12, that's great, too. <laughs> Hi, Lua! Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for coming by. Not underage. No, no, no. I'm ageless. Majelis. I thought you like math. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> I sure do. I sure do like that math. Good day, Nami. Happy birthday to you. Thanks for your multitude of fun streams. I hope you're enjoying your special day. Wishing you many more years of great health and prosperity. Geronimo. Thank you, Geronimo. Thank you, thank you. 
That explains that cursed alarm you had. Yes, yeah, not a fun alarm. I was not bad at math. I was good at it. <laughs> this is gonna take me out. <laughs> Happy birthday, healer. Happy birthday, Nami. Thank you for being such a wonderful, entertaining, beautiful person. Your multiple talents never fail to amaze, and your ability to make everything such a fun adventure is always appreciated. I love your personality, honest talks, infectious laughter, and well, everything you've served us, Hiroji, on a voice platter. <laughs> Sweat, spit, tears, and all. Much love. Can't wait to see what else you sacrifice us for in the future. Terajima. Alright, we need to have... A moment of analysis. <laughs> Kyo, thank you for that. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Terry. All right, all right. A moment of analysis here. We have <laughs> Inuyasha with this shirt off. <laughs> He's supporting, he's supporting me at the chair, as you can see. We have Suilent that is beans flavor. And it says Nicole approved on the bottle. Then we have Leona holding sword boyfriend from Transistor. <laughs> the cake says happy birthday Nami with the stupid Droplets emoji. Oh, beans around the cake. Bean mobile kerchu. And then the candle is a dagger. There is. <laughs> so much. I love this. I love this. Uh, all my. All my. Uh, best. Boyfriends that we've talked about on <laughs> on stream are here. <laughs> now this is art. All the references baked in. Yeah, I am so flabbergasted by why Inuyasha is shirtless, but you know what? That's fine. He's Inuyasha. He can do what he wants. <laughs> And Leona holding sword boyfriend is so funny. We gotta make sure the sword boyfriend's here. Where's Kagome though? Not here. This is about me and Inuyasha. What are you talking about? <laughs> this isn't about her. <laughs> this isn't about her. Kagome who? <laughs> An animal boy theme? I think this is just coincidental. I think this is just coincidental. <laughs> this truly makes me feel like I'm losing my mind in the best way possible. In the best way possible. Like, everything about this is perfect, Terry. You really hit it out of the park. <laughs> The fact that even Sword Boyfriend is here. <laughs> Happy day of being born. Thank you, Bias Spark. Thank you, thank you. But can he beat Goku? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. You know, it really... It really amazes me that there is enough content to have such a distilled, like, essence of every meme and joke <laughs> that has happened here in this art in less than three months or in about three months, right? <laughs> like, it's been like maybe three months and, uh, 
we can have this and it means something. It means something and that's really something. <laughs> like this looks like absolute nonsense, but it all means something. God. I didn't even touch Hades territory. Yeah, there's so much. <laughs> there's so much. Oh, there's so much. It's all coming together. Oh, happy birthday, Nami G! I just wanted to wish the most amazing healer in all the Isekai worlds a happy Earth birthday. I have fun watching you and love you lots. Outcaster, thank you so much, Outcaster. Thank you, thank you. This is what we signed up for. There's so much that could be added. It could. There is so much. There is so much. <laughs> Love you, Beanie. I mean, Nami. Yeah, you know me. I'm full of beans. Full of beans. Super giant and ultimate husband. <laughs> me, ex super giant game studio. Oh, gracious. So that's it for the Padlet. So much good content. You guys are really seeming to try and make me go crazy, but I like that. It's great. <laughs> I appreciate feeling a little insane. So we also have the cameo, which I'm, I have to... All right, we got to watch this. We got to listen. We got to watch. I'm ready. Name me. Uh, it's David Kay. And uh, it's... Uh, I'm actually on, on a big... I'm not, I'm not in my studio. I'm, I'm in uh, I'm Napa, California. This is my portable studio it's it's in there so uh, yeah you caught me on my holidays but i see this uh this uh important uh, cameo that came through sorry i haven't had a chance to i get uh, hair likes the shomru now which is uh kind of is that good <laughs> anyway um i just wanted to say hello um as the shomru and wish you all the best and all the beans and good luck with your streams and chaining your fans. <laughs> That's all I want to say. And uh, this is uh, from, uh, is it Herogis? Herogis. Herogis. This is, so it's all, it's all their fault. Um, but anyway, uh, I wanted to say hello and get this out to you. And um, just thanks for being a fan and, uh, you know, um, good vibes to you. And I know you don't take crap from anyone. That's what I've been, I've been told. And uh, you heal for violence and good vibes and, and you're you're an artist, and you use that part of the brain that all artists use, and and uh, and that's pretty cool. So listen, be well, all the best. Your birthday is, uh, gosh, what's today? Twenty fifth. So coming up soon. So in the words of Shishomru, happy birthday to you. Happy bir shut up, Jockin. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Naomi. Happy birthday to you. All the best. Be well. Cheers. <laughs> this is gonna put me in the grave! <laughs> this is art from start to finish! Name me! <laughs> David K, thank you. <laughs> the, the the little tangents, the chaining your fans, the oh god, everything, everything happening in this. <laughs> Uh, 
I love this. I can't believe I'm naming now. This, why? We got Nene and Naimi. <laughs> There's so much to unpack. Uh, do I need to watch it again? I feel crazy. I feel insane. I feel out of my absolute gourd. Oh my god. Oh my god. Naimi! Please go ahead. Oh, are we are gonna watch it again. I'm dying. Naimi. Naimi. Uh, it's David K. Hi, and, David. Uh, it's, uh, I'm actually on, on the big, I'm, up, I'm not in my studio. I'm, I'm in, uh, I'm in Napa, California. This is my portable <laughs> studio. It's, it's in there. So, uh, yeah, you caught me on my holidays, but I see this, uh, this uh, important uh, cameo that came through. Sorry, I haven't had a chance to. I got uh, hair like the Shomru now. <laughs> which is, uh, kind of. Well, I don't know if it's. Is that good? <laughs> anyway, um, I just wanted to say hello um, as the Shomru and wish you all the best and all the beans. All the beans. And good luck with your streams and chaining your fans. That's all I want to say. <laughs> and uh, this is uh, from. Uh, is it Herogis? Herogis. Herogis. This is so Herogis? it's all it's all their fault. Um, but anyway, uh, I wanted to say hello and get this out to you. And um, just thanks for being a fan. And uh, you know, um, more good vibes to you. And I know you don't take crap from anyone. That's what I've been I've been told. And uh, you heal through violence and good vibes. And, <laughs> and you're, you're an artist, and you use that part of the brain that all artists use. Through violence and, and good vibes. And, uh, and that's <laughs> Be well. All the best. Your birthday is, uh, gosh, what's today? 25th? So, coming up soon. So, in the words of Shishomru, happy birthday to you. Happy birth. Shut up, Jockin. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Naimi. Happy birthday to you. All the best. Be well. Cheers. This honestly has the vibes of if someone actually tried to ask Seshomaru to record a birthday message. This man is method acting in this moment. <laughs> I love it so much. It's so good. The double Inuyasha dose on the birthday. <laughs> Says Shomar would be so awkward. He wouldn't know what to do. It was so good. I love it. It's perfect. I, I just, I. <laughs> it's so good. Thank you so much. I, I love this. I guess I'm naming now, and you guys are herogis. <laughs> Naimi and the Herogis, you know how it goes. Oh my god. Oh, I need to recover after that. Sashomaru was in California. He was in Napa, California. Look at him go. <laughs> Oh, it sounds so extra in third party. It's it's so much. It's so much. Namey Freezer. Yeah, that's me. Oh. Jesus. All right. I think I'm done dying from that. I will appreciate it more later. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> So much. That's a lot of notifications. Okay. Some of this is stuff oh, from <laughs> the bad luck. Thank you for the birthday wishes. Thank you. Thank you. I'm gonna I'm gonna spam you guys with some retweets. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, 
is this me as a Sesame Street monster? Because I love it. <laughs> and Dragon Tails, let's go! This was my favorite dragon on Dragon Tails. This was my favorite one. You got her right. No, it's beautiful. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Her name was Cassie, I remember. Her name was Cassie. Oh, Bear in the Big Blue House! Yes! Yes! Yeah! Look at them. It's all the friends! It's all our friends! Zabumafu! Yeah! Yeah, I love Zabumafu. Oh my god, Caillou. Uh, perfectly legal. That's right. That's a phrase that I said during the Twisted Wonderland stream. <laughs> I said Leona was perfectly legal, and this is true. This is a true fact. This is a true fact. He is perfectly legal. Also, there's Caillou. <laughs> there's Caillou. Leona is perfectly legal. Between the line. Oh, it's toilet. <laughs> Jump in between the lions. Caillou, have you heard the trap remix of Triu's? Triu's? Caillou's theme song? <laughs> I think I brought it up before. <laughs> Video well, as well, but I'm not sure if it showed up in the feed. All right, we'll, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Is it above here? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let me look at it. Let's... Oh, let's get the BGM back on. <laughs> Yeah, look at the BMO Bill go! There is audio, but I'm afraid that it might be copyright, so. <laughs> hey, Nami, have you seen Liberty Kids or Cyber Chase? I've seen both of those! Thank you, Jolt Edge. Thank you, thank you. Oh my god! <laughs> it's all my super giant friends! Nicole! <laughs> Look, it's everyone! Tama, you did this, you had some recent additions. <gasps> Teddy Ursa, my favorite! Oh, oh, no, not me and the mommy. <laughs> Tried that at the last second. It's it, no, it's great. This is fantastic. saying the beginning of that copy pasta and it just punched a laugh out of me. <laughs> I'm gonna die. <laughs>
had to do it. I'm still working on some other drawings, but not done yet. So I'll post when finished. And he stinks for everything. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was so good. <laughs> It was the beginning of the copy pasta. Oh, great. Good golly gosh. Good golly gosh. Our collab I made for Nami's birthday. Such amazing artist to collab with. Happy birthday from us. Alright, let's get a good look at this. Thank you for Mabu. And organizing this. Here's Mabu's piece. Got Dino Xavier. Oh, I really like to see all the all the different um Styles come together. It's really neat. It's really neat to see these. Shurglers. Wallbin. Maverick. Ken. And Clutter Cloud. It's so, so cool to see you guys like mesh and, and, and collab on this together. I really love the result. It looks so good. I love seeing all the different ways that you guys draw. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Super, super cool. Super, super cool. <laughs> Angela Anaconda. Happy birthday, Nami. As I said on the general hashtag, Angela Anaconda made it into your birthday party. <laughs> I didn't prepare nothing, but at least I wanted to wish you a happy birthday. Tons of love. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Oh, for... N Namala... Namaconda and the Peppa Pig game. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay. More art. This is the bigger piece from Mabu that was on the Padlet. We can see it closer. So, so cute. I love, I love all the details. With all the different emoji. Finally, no hat on. <laughs> I'm bald. I'm bald. Look, this is the bald Nami that you wanted, right? This is the bald Nami you wanted? Now one for words, our artistic ability. But I hope you enjoy your birthday, Nami. Nice level up. Thank you, Shinoda. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Bald! I'm gonna have to go back <clears throat> and like mass like these because I've forgotten them like them. <laughs> Came out tweeted it's hidden from the tag. Aww. You tweeted it? Alright, you're gonna have to, you'll have to tag me so I can go retweet it so everyone can witness the cameo. <laughs> KV said, Happy birthday, Nami. I hope you're having a wonderful day with the Hirojis. We can make it a great celebration for you. Been a huge fan since the start. And want to wish you a new year full of blessing and fun times. Keeping you, keeping awesome. One out of two. All right, let's look at the rest. Open. Thank you. <laughs> Made my days much, much better and fun. I hope to repay that with a funny B-Day card. You see, I have zero artistic ability, but what I do have is a severe case of the stupid. So I made this. Yes, those are beans. Happy birthday, Nami in beans. Let's go, beans. Let's go. All right. Arena sent me a little voice message. Since she's got to step out, so she won't be able to call in. So we'll be able to listen to it. Beans, beans, beans! Let's go, beans! Thank you, KB. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, you guys want to take a little, a little, a little smidgen of a break so Reyna can call in? She actually said that she can call for like <laughs> five minutes if it's right now. Why is Twisted Wonderland reminded me about the Leona banner starting? I already rolled on it. I already rolled on it. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay, all right. L little little break on um 
on on the uh, the Twitter. I don't have a brain. Holy cow. Let's get Reina in here so that she can. Reina. Shimon, Shimon. Hi, Reina. Happy birthday! I'm so glad I caught you and didn't, <laughs> you didn't have to use the potato recording. <laughs> I'm still gonna listen to the potato recording later. But it's so bad. <laughs> Happy birthday! I love you so much. Thank have you. you. Yeah, I'm dying. The everyone's trying to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> that cameo was so great. What is up with them just like not knowing how to pronounce names? Like it just seems like that's just a thing. That is just a, it's thing. Just a thing. It's just a thing. It, it's so funny. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> Namey. <laughs> For my birthday, it was Rena. For for Nene, it was Nene. And for you, it's <laughs> Navy. How do you get Navy from that? Oh. I don't know, but I love it. I I hope. I think it's a conspiracy. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they somehow mess up Nina's name. I know that should be like impossible, but I hope. <laughs> Nena, Nena, it seems like Nena. <laughs> Nene. <laughs> They will find a way. They gotta find well, a way to mess up I'll... Nina's name. <laughs> I, I hope that your birthday is magical. I know I, I can't stay super long, but just know that I love you. And I think you were just like the bee's knees. Or should I say bean knees? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for calling in. Enjoy the recording. <laughs> I will. I'm gonna enjoy the hell out of that recording. Off stream. Off stream. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Off stream. <laughs> okay. Good, good, good. Okay. I love you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, oh, Rina. Nene. Naimi. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Off stream. Yeah, we're gonna find out what, what it is. Bye. Hi, Rina. I love you. Please enjoy your time out. <laughs> no, I'm not showing you the recording. She asked me. I'm I'm gonna be I'm gonna be good. I'm gonna be good. Here's Arx again. Happy birthday, Nami. Hope you have an amazing day. Oh, it's such, such pretty art. Such pretty art. This artist does a great job. They did that little chibi for me before. I loved it. Man, another art for you. It doesn't show on the tags. All right, all right, all right. We'll make sure that we, we that we see it. You can show it if you want to, but no pressure. <laughs> it's just potato. No, for my ears only. Mine. Mine. Here's Zalia! It's happy birthday, Nami! <laughs> Looking for your birthday stream later on! Hell yeah! Oh, I think this is the one that... Yeah, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Here we go! This is the other art that Mabu made. Thank you, Mabu! Thank you, thank you! Happy birthday to our precious healer. May you continue to heal us <laughs> with your streams. Cheers from our memories together! Thank you so much! It's so cute! I love it. I love it. You put in the work. <laughs> you really put in the work. So much art from Mabu. There's the Terry piece. <laughs> Happy birthday, Nami. Thanks for the great time, sacrificial adventures, random topics, and wonderful karaoke that have happened so far. Looking forward to whatever else you drag us, Hiroji, into next. <laughs> It's so much. This is like the distilled content of our of the streams that have happened here. 
I gotta cover little Nindoroid Inuyasha's eyes so he doesn't see himself shirtless on the screen. <laughs> I love it. Happy birthday, Nami. Another year older and wiser. Good thing wisdom is a cleric's primary stat. Hell yeah. So you can heal this clumsy Hiroji even better now. Hope you have a great day. Thank you, Happy Roku. Thank you, thank you. Nice little retweet. Happy birthday, Nami. I hope the birthday will be fun. Another from Ken. This is really cute. Oh, I love it. And the wind. You guys know I'm fond of the wind for whatever reason. <laughs> Straight Nami. More from Geronimo. Happy birthday to our dear great healer Nami. Wishing you a fantastic day and a wonderful year ahead. Keep healing us, Hirojis, with your splendid live streams and shorts. Cheers! Look how cute. Little, little chalkboard. I love it. So, so cute. Thank you, Geronimo. Thank you. Thank you. So cute. But here's a piece from Barry. Happy birthday, Nami. Hope this day is a banger for you. Love you a ton. Oh, thank you, Barry. Look at how... It's so nice. It's so cute. I love it. I love it. <gasps> oh, multiples. Yeah! You love to see it. Multiple versions. This cake is so big. <laughs> this cake is so big. That would be plenty for us to share, right? We can all share, right? Oh, these two go together. Happy birthday, Nami. This is, as this is your special day, here's my gift to you. A drawing of you that I did during my free time in army camp. What do you think of my gift? I hope you like my gift and enjoy your very special day. Look how cute it is. It's a nice little sketch. Sometime in the future, I'll try to go back to the sketch to improve on some details and try to color it during my free time. I promise that I'll give you the improved and colored version of this drawing next year for your next birthday. I promise. I'm looking forward to it. It's so cute in the, in, in the meantime still. I like this sketch. It's very good. It's very good. Very, very good. Here's our, our lovely uh, martial arts movie poster by Wallbend. Big fat retweet on that. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you for that. Oh, this is the video. All right, here, big, big retweet on that one. <laughs> Can't stay much longer, but I'm glad to be here for your birthday. Happy birthday, name. I mean, Nami. Thank you for coming by. Thank you so much. <laughs> That's wonderful. The art, Mr. Bean, me, Soylent Cake, Prompy. Giga Chow. <laughs> and the Giga Chow is gonna take me out. I love it so much. I love it so much. Alright, let's check and make sure. Oh, gracious, that there's not anything new. Oh, yeah. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here's a cameo for everyone to enjoy. It's gonna make me lose my gourd. Happy birthday, Nami G! Thank you, thank you! And another big thank you, thank you for that. Here, I'll retweet. You guys are very kind. Okay, I did see that there were some others that didn't make it into the tag. So here's one. Here's one. Very, very cute. I got a bit messy with the cake, obviously. <laughs> got a bit messy with the cake. It's such nice art. Thank you so much, Traveler. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, JP bro! So I said I couldn't get your gift done on time. Don't worry, don't worry. I will love and appreciate it. No matter when. <laughs> Looking at my art, it looks like a martial art. It's supposed to be a prayer post. I know it's a prayer, but my brain is stuck on Shinmu. I'm ready. I'm ready to use it for our, our, our Shinmu arc. I think that it would fit right in. Big arigato on that one. So, so nice. And then there's this one. From Ben. Is that not so pretty? Is that not so pretty? Happy birthday. I commissioned some art for you. It's gorgeous. I love it. Thank you so, so, so much, Ben. Thank you so much. This is so, so pretty. So beautiful. 
The vibe's immaculate. Look at all the lovely flowers. The hair everywhere. The ooh pose. <laughs> the ooh pose. You love to see it. You love to see it. So, so good. So good. <laughs> Artwork is higher quality than my eyes. <laughs> I think those are the ones that I noticed um, didn't quite make it into the tag on on Twitter. I think those are the ones that I saw that uh, Twitter decided to ignore. So I think... Oh, here's another d, &D. Happy birthday, Nami! Can't wait to get some chains and beans! <laughs> Cole Knights! Oh, the collective Cole Knight Hive Mind! Happy birthday from us! Thank you so much, Cole Knights! Thank you, thank you! <laughs> I'm sorry for uh, stealing the Chama from you. I won't give her back, but thank you. <laughs> I will not be giving her back, but thank you. Um, thank you for understanding. Thank you for understanding. <laughs> I think we're done looking at stuff. Here. At least share the Chama? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe I'll share the Chama. I'll think about it. I'll think long and hard. I want to make sure we have... Let me get... Da -da 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 -da. That's the wrong folder. Here we go. We have Raina calling. So she gets to... She gets to sit with us as a... As a guest. As a, as a guest. There's so much everywhere. <laughs> There's so much everywhere on the screen right now. Massive L for the cold nights. I think they should uh, be satisfied with what they've got. <laughs> Which is... You know? <laughs> Which is, you know? Gotta be happy for what you got. <laughs> Can't wait for Nami to forget everything on the overlay next stream. Yeah. <laughs> Why you gotta read this way? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was I was really trying to think. Oh, I missed one from Mako. All right, let me let me find out. Let me find out. Let me let me let me go look for it. Do 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 do. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. Let me... Grab it. There we go. Make sure I retweeted it. Here, let's, let's take a quick, uh... Little look at it. Here we go. Let's appreciate it. Happy birthday, Nami-chan. I wish you the same happiness you give to us for this special day and for all the other days, too. You're great. Keep on rocking. I will. Except maybe not on Clone Hero for a while because I... <laughs> I hurt myself. <laughs> Here's Amako's good art. I love it. I love it. I love it. Very, very good. Very, very good. <laughs> all right. I think is is that is that was the only one I missed? I hope so. I hope so. I don't want to miss anyone else's. I'll make sure even if I miss it on stream, I'll I'll definitely look and retweet it later. I'll definitely look and retweet it later. Clone here is once a year you'll end up handless. I just need to be better. <laughs> I just need to be better about it. Uh, about not going crazy with it. Uh, 
Oh, okay, so. Perhaps it is time to announce uh, our birthday, 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 birthday merch. Um, before we, we start getting other people in here, yeah? Ramses! Happy birthday, Nami. May the tangents always derail the bean stay bus in the lab always healing. Thank you, Ramses. Thank you. Thank you. Birthday merch! <gasps> Oh, what's... Oh, what, what is this? Oh, what is this? Could it be birthday merch? What? Birthday merch. Who would have seen that coming? <laughs> here's, here's what we got. I know it's covering my face right now. Deal with it. So, we've got... Two acrylic keyring sets. Two different designs. And uh, I hope you like the poses picked from them because I actually did uh, the reference poses for them. I doodled up little poses that I wanted for them and we handed them off to the artist like, all right, make this good. <laughs> make this good. So I actually, I picked the poses and everything for it. So there's two different designs. And then we've got the voice pack! So we've got the scenario voice, the amazing birthday adventure. It is three minutes long, I can tell you that much. I made sure it was packed with content. Yeah, it's one of the poses for the key rings. Uh, and then we've got short voice lines in it as well. You've got an alarm. You've got a good night. You can start and end your day with me. And there's also four stream voice lines. So things that we say pretty often in stream. It is packed. Packed. Packed full of beans. So here's a better look at at the key rings. Look how cute. Look how stinging cute. Packed full of beans. <laughs> Bean line, maybe so. <laughs> so you got this one, and then this other one on the right side is me carrying Frisia flowers, because that's my name. Frisia. <laughs> In case you forgot, that's a flower. It's our birthday merch! Birthday, birthday merch. I've been so excited about it. It's been in the works for a while. I wrote all the stuff for it. I love, I love, love, love what we got for the, the keychains. So, so happy with it. So, so happy with it. And I was told that it should be going live at the same time as me announcing it because they would be paying attention. <laughs> so, in theory, this should work. If not, please wait until it goes live, but this will be the URL for it on Booth. You can go, you can go get your birthday merch! Woohoo! Birthday! <laughs> Woohoo! Birthday! So, hopefully it is live now. If not, wait, wait a few minutes. Wait a bit. <laughs> wait a bit. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's up. Let's go! Hey hey! Alright. Go nuts, go crazy, go go wild. Go stupid ah. Uh. <laughs> but you you can't leave to listen to the voice lines. You have to stay the whole stream and then you can go listen. <laughs> you gotta stay and then you can go listen. You got it? Got it. Got it. These are the rules. These are the rules. I'm gonna put this one back up. And shrink it. Shrink it. Happy birthday, Lord Frisia! Thank you, Conan Senpai. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> My adventure with Nami. You gotta wait. You gotta wait. Can't have an adventure. We're having one right now. <laughs> 
you gotta wait for the adventuring. This is our time right now. Okay, let me tell, let me tell the girls that it is, it is time. All right, they have been alerted. Oh, make sure my desktop audio is on. <laughs> Don't want live reactions to your voice pack? Not right now. No, this is, pay attention to right now. <laughs> To right now. Live in the present. Live in the present. Cause, cause, uh, cause that's why it's it's a gift, right? <laughs> it's a gift. That's why they call it a present. Oh yeah, listen to the the slack dings, the slack dings. Living in the present, but they forgot the dang air holes. <laughs> Omega Zen, thank you for becoming a chosen hero. Thank you, thank you. Why are you crying? Come here, Squarely. Come here, Squarely. Yeah. Doobie dingin. Doobie doobie dingin. Ding ding. <laughs> it's not the default Slack notification sound. But I didn't like the default one, so I said I want it to to make a nice little bell sound. Past, present, and future. The gift that keeps on giving. Yeah, time. Squirrel. Squirrel always wants attention. Don't know who you are, but I wish you a happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, Nene, Nene wishes us to have a good time. She's got to rest up on her voice, so she won't be able to call in. But we feel the love from our, our dingy, our big dingy love. <laughs> Glad you changed it, otherwise I'd be paranoid that work was bugging me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I didn't like the default one. I think it was a little too similar to Discord or something. <laughs> Yeah, we got the Tinji birthday wishes. She came through. She came through for us. She's here in spirit. <laughs> She's here in spirit. I am still thinking about Naimi. I'm still thinking about healing through violence and good vibes. <laughs> I'm gonna be going insane over that cameo for a very long time. I don't know how I'll ever recover. I don't know how I'll ever recover from Naimi and healing through violence and good vibes. I... <laughs> So, so much. Glad you liked it. I loved it. <laughs> merch is bought. Hey, enjoy your merch. Enjoy it. Not right now. But enjoy it. <laughs> Happy birthday, Nami. Only Nami. Thank you so much, Omega. Thank you, thank you. So, so kind. So, so generous. You can actually prepare, but I put some words on the tag if you want to go check it. Alright, I will go look right now. I'll go look. If I am, best time to sleep. Happy birthday, Kinami. Have a great day. Bye. Thank you for coming by. Please rest up very, very well. Keychains. Hey. I need to get some of them myself. <laughs> I love them. They're so, so cute. So happy with them. So cute. They were like exactly what I wanted to. Exactly what I was here for. I handed them the little sketches and uh, made their job easy. Let's go. <laughs> Rock that Gucci. Yeah. 
my, my, my Gucci slides, Gucci shades. Lua said she's grabbing coffee and she'll come through for our calls. So we're gonna get to hear the bird. The bird's gonna come see us. <laughs> I have to grab them once my paycheck hits. Uh, that's very kind of you to want to grab them at all. I really hope you guys enjoy the um, the voice pack. I hope you enjoy it once you do listen to it, but not right now. Not right now. Sea gang must be waking up. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Maybe right now? Are you? You're enjoying them right now? Oh my gosh. It's three minutes long! <laughs> Are they time limited? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think um, that we're in the habit of time limited. How do birds drink coffee? I don't know. That's a question for Lua. That's a question for Lua. Time zones are a hell of a drug. They sure are. Time zones exist. They sure do exist. Not sin yet, just kidding. Ha ha! <laughs> ha ha, you gotta wait! Do you know the bird is the word? Yeah. The bird, bird, bird is the word. Bird, 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 bird is the word. <laughs> thank you, Jolt Edge. Thank you, thank you. Kawaii merch seems to not go time limited, which is ba Yeah. Yeah, I really like that. I like that nobody has to feel pressured about whether or not they're gonna be able to grab something. Voice pack is the adventure and the other lines, right? Nami, just to be sure. Mm -hmm. It's uh, the the scenario and then the other lines. It should have all of them. Should have all the other lines. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm like double checking, double reading for you guys. Yes, if you get just the voice pack, it'll have the scenario and all the other lines. You will not miss out. You will not miss out. That's something I appreciate. Glad it isn't time. Yeah, yeah. I think that works a lot better for the fans. I think that works a lot better for the fans overall. I know a lot of people like to push time limited things to kind of pressure people into like, buy it, buy it, buy it. Don't think about it, just buy it. But I'd rather people have a chance to think about it. <laughs> it's your money. <laughs> you should feel good Hello? about the decisions that you make with it. Ah, oh, Lua! Hello? Hi, Lua. Hi, Lua. Happy birthday! Woo! Thank you! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had to check your stream to see what I was interrupting. <laughs> uh, you know, just me talking about... <laughs> Time limited merch uh, <laughs> practices. <laughs> yeah. Get. Oh, is it time limited? No, oh, no, no, no. Time limited. No, it's not. <laughs> okay, okay. I was gonna say bye, bye, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, I'm looking at your merch right now. Acrylic key, ring set, ring. Oh, acrylic key. Blah, blah, blah. Acrylic key ring set is one phrase. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I thought you were selling rings. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that would be a, a, a merch Ooh. idea. Custom. Uh... Yeah. Right? <laughs> but, then, but then it'd have to be like adjustable size rings. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, little cheap uh, uh, rings that you can <laughs> open and close different sizes. <laughs> or put mm. on like a necklace. Oh, God. <laughs> like rings, but they're like belts for your fingers. <laughs> That really edgy. be something. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Amazing birthday adventure scenario voice. Ooh, alarm. Good night for streamlines. What are streamlines? Uh, it's stuff that we say a lot on stream here. So I was like, they would probably oh. appreciate that. <laughs> oh, very cool. Everybody get in. <laughs> Lewis here to shill. So? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got the merch. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> How's your birthday been? Did you have cake? I, I didn't have cake. I mean, other than the, the Peppa Pig cake that mm. <laughs> Isla sent me. Is it, is it, did you really have that cake? Or what, is it just like, look at this Peppa Pig cake? I did not have the Peppa Pig cake. Okay. <laughs> um, no, I didn't I have yeah, cake. It'd, it'd be very... I, I didn't think about having cake. I was, I, I, uh -huh. uh, was bad and was like, oh, right. Cake, mm. cake is a birthday thing. <laughs> That's true. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's true. Well, you can uh, toast yourself at least with some juice. I don't know. <laughs> give yourself a give yourself a, a cheers for your birthday. Yeah, here I got my water cup. A big cup. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Wait, Nami. I think your I think your your Discord like audio settings are like removing your voice for me. Oh, cool. <laughs> you love to see it. it. You cut out when you laugh. So it must be... <laughs> oh. It must be noise suppression. It does that a lot. It really... It does that a lot. It hates... <laughs> it hates when I laugh. Uh, no, I, I know what you mean. <laughs> uh, I know I get what you mean. I have it... Mm, I have it off right now, but... Oh. What well, are we drinking tonight, Nami? Water. Anyway. <laughs> Water. Water. I'm having my morning coffee right now. Uh, is it good coffee or is it Wait, just like black? Is it, what time is it right now? <laughs> For me, it's 8.30 uh, p.m. No, no. I, I like to put one milk, one sugar. Oh, 8.30? Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Oh, okay. Oh, so it's, it's still a really good time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's still like before noon for me right now. Yeah. I, I thought <sighs> this was like oh, a Discord good time is jank. Oh, yeah. Didn't the server go down yesterday? Oh yeah, Discord oh, no, had a big know. maybe it had maybe a big down. <laughs> like a, a lot of it was I down thought, earlier. I thought, like, I thought like my internet was not working. Right? Mm. I, I thought like you know, I like restarted my phone. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think it was mostly happening with like the phone uh app. Like for some reason the phone oh, really? app was happening like having issues. Yeah, because on my computer it didn't go down oh. for me at all. Like I was in a call the with ADI someone crashed. the whole time. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So oh, it was like working why. on yeah, my PC. Uh-uh. No. Yeah. No. It went down earlier. Yeah. That was really weird. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Ah. But yeah. Happy birthday. Thank you. I hope you have a good one. <laughs> <laughs> it's, been, it's been pretty fun. And here's to another wonderful year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm going to have to uh, make sure mm. to come for your birthday um see how someone's gonna manage to mess up your name in the <laughs> that cameo means I have to do a <laughs> yeah <laughs> now i'm now i'm forced to do a totsumachi you hear that guys i'm making sure she do does it. the good content <laughs> all right all right yeah i'll i'll set it up all right <laughs> you better you better we gotta be able right. to call into our bird yeah <laughs> Oh gosh! All right, have a have a have a really good one, Nami. Thank you. I will Lil. talk to you later. Yeah, yeah. Have a good rest <laughs> bye, of your bye. morning. Enjoy your coffee. Oh, thank you. You have a good night. Thank you. Mm. Bye bye. Bye. She's so cute. Lua has such a lovely little soft voice. Pronounce it Lau. <laughs> Yeah, I saw everyone was talking about like, oh, Discord, Discord's gone down, and I was like, not for me. I don't know what everyone's talking about, but it surely wasn't for me. Morning, Lua voice hits different. <laughs> Her voice really do be fit. Yeah, yeah. Voice sounds so soft and kudere. I mean, she looks kudere. Look at her. You've seen Lua. You've seen Lua. Very kudere. Very good that I looking. Nami just what? Oh, with the Discord. <laughs> I'll be honest. The first time I saw Lua, I was like, "Oh yeah, she looks good that eh? <laughs> That's the exact vibe that Lua gives off. The exact vibe she gives off. Good night, y'all. Thank you for coming by. Good night. Please rest well. Please rest well. 
Looks good at it. Is da 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 da. Yeah, she's very sweet. She's very, very sweet. Especially to you guys. <laughs> Not that she isn't sweet to us. But she definitely dotes on you guys. I'm sure you all very much appreciate it. Oh, man. There's been so much. <laughs> I feel like I... My brain has been siphoned. There was so much earlier. There is so much. <laughs> Between Naomi... And, and all the wonderful art and messages. Good night, Naomi. Happy, happy birthday. <laughs> Violence and good vibes. Always thank you for coming by. <laughs> Love you, Naomi. Love you, Lua. Thank you. <laughs> Hope you do you two do collab in the future. We'll have to sort it out. We'll have to sort it out. It's a bit difficult for some of us. Like, uh, for me, with some of the girls, because they're on basically opposite time schedules. Basically opposite time schedules. Let's sort it out! Yeah, Lua, we gotta, we gotta figure something out. I don't know what we'll do. <laughs> but yeah, the time zones are a pain for a lot of us. Time zones are hard to sort. But we'll figure something out. We gotta get all the collabs in with everyone. Gotta get all the... The combos. Squirrel is really having a moment. Squirrel is really having a moment. She wants the attention. She says it should be her birthday too. We can make it her birthday too. Happy birthday, Squirrel. I, I don't remember her actual birthday. So, I guess it gets to be Squirrel's birthday too. Big happy birthday to Squirrel! Yeah! Yeah, why are you crying? Why are you crying? <laughs> happy birthday, Nami! Promise to show us your knife wielding techniques when you get 3D. No knife, birthday merch, or chains? Maybe next time. Thank you, Buccaneer! <laughs> thank you, thank you. That would be very interesting. <laughs> I don't know how it explains it. Don't yell at me. Come here. Come here. Come here. Why are you yelling? Stop that. I don't know how it explains to management that I need uh, a knife prop for 3D. So, um, <laughs> I don't know how I would sort that one out. That seems difficult to explain. That seems difficult to explain. To be like, hey, um, when I do 3D, I need a knife prop. Hey, I need a knife prop. <laughs> it's for a magic trick? That sounds terrible. That sounds terrible. Oh, uh, Melon's, Melon's message. Happy birthday, Nami. I'm gonna go enjoy some Monster Hunter World in your honor. Also, I brought you some Aqua Pina from your Oxygen Not Included stream. You're such a fun person to watch. You always crack me up with your take no shit attitude. Thank you so much, Melon. <laughs> it's a scalpel. That's right. That's right. It's a scalpel. I'm a medical professional suddenly. Suddenly, I'm a medical professional. I need the scalpel, but I need it with a bigger blade. Big blade, please. Please and thank you. <laughs> it's important. It's important. Don't ask why. Just know that I require it. A knife for watermelon. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. We're gonna cut some some watermelon on stream. On stream. A surgeon healer actually sounds like neat cosplay slash ASMR. No one will be asking questions after you get the knife. <laughs> I, 
I hate watermelons. Does that scalpel also transform into a knife? That would be interesting. Scalpel as like a magical girl, a transformation object. Once you transform, it's a giant knife, like a machete in your hands. Like a big machete. A watermelon. I love watermelon. Watermelon's good. Have you ever put salt on your watermelon? I've seen people are putting like mustard on their watermelon. I have not tried that, but I do like to put salt on mine. It makes it taste sweeter. Time for me to dip. Bye, Nami. Enjoy your day slash night. Thank you so much for coming by. Salt? Yeah. Yeah, you put salt on your, on your watermelon and it makes it taste sweeter. One of my childhood friends salted his watermelon. I thought he was nuts. No, no, no. It's like the contrast. It's like the contrast. You put the salt on it so that you, um... Your, your taste buds are like, wow, this contrast between the salty and the sweet makes it taste a lot sweeter than if you didn't have the salt on it. Stop hacking watermelons like that. It's not bad. It's normal. Totally normal to salt your watermelon. Trust me. Trust me. <laughs> Salted tomatoes. Tomatoes are great. I love tomatoes. Salt, pepper, good stuff. Mustard melons. Uh, yeah, apparently it's like a thing that people on TikTok were doing. And I'm like, that sounds really weird. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I don't know about uh, having mustard on a watermelon. I can't even imagine why. Like, what is the, the thought process behind? What's the thought process behind putting mustard on the watermelon? I don't get it. Who thought I'm gonna put mustard on my watermelon? Who did that first? Never don't salt and pepper tomatoes. It's like completely new flavor. Yeah. Salt and pepper on tomatoes is so good. So good. Contrast? I don't think so. <laughs> Roasting like a fake meat? Maybe, but I think they're just like eating it. I don't go on TikTok, but I've heard people talk about it. Contrasting too, but for bitter? I mean, mustard's not really bitter. It's more like sour. It's like sour. It's like tingy. Tingy soured. Did you try the mustard? I have not tried the mustard. I don't think I will try the mustard. Maybe. <laughs> what about watermelon wasabi? That sounds terrible. That sounds terrible. Has anyone... Is that a thing? Do people do that? Sometimes when I stir mustard under my tongue for later, it mixes with watermelon. I have is just that sounds so gross. <laughs> Cayenne pepper? Yeah, I would believe that. I would believe that. Happy birthday, Nami. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Be heading out for tonight. Pretty sleepy. Take care, chat. Nami. <laughs> Once again for happy birthday, Nami. Thank you so much for coming by. Please rest well. Aw, mustard. I do salt my watermelon. It's good stuff. You gotta salt your watermelon. If you never had tried it before, salt it. Salt it. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Not too much. Not too much. Just a little. Wasabi melons. Oh god, please no. It sounds terrible. It sounds so gross. <laughs> I heard people eating worse things, so it doesn't bother me that much. There's a lot of worse things that you could eat. I've eaten worse things for sure. So you don't knock it till you try it, but I understand completely. I, most things I'm like, okay. I'll try it at least once, but I don't know about the mustard melon. I don't know about the mustard melon. In your honor, I will salt my next watermelon. Thank you. That's all I ask. Just just a little. Just a little. Not too much. Not a short zoo level of salt. No, no, no. <laughs> not much. Not much. Just a little bitty sprinkle. Same principle as putting salt in the lips of cups for some beers. Really? They do that for some beers? I know they do that for like margaritas. Just a little. As a treat. Just a little bit of salt. As a treat. Why does mustard melon sound like a cartoon supervillain? That would be really funny. <laughs> Have you seen or heard of melon and ham? Ew. That sounds terrible. I already hate ham. I already hate ham, and then 
Putting it on melon? That sounds bad. That sounds very, very bad. I do not recommend. I do not recommend. Cupid on watermelon? I don't think I would try it. I don't think I would try it. I like my Cupid, but I don't, I don't think I would try it. <laughs> try some salt. Yeah, try the salt. Try the salt. Try the salt. Kiwi on watermelon. I love kiwi. Kiwi cheese <laughs> can have a little assault as a treat. As a treat. I hate ham unsubbed. All right. Don't let don't let the door hit you where the good lord split you. <laughs> I'm not going to like ham. The only time I like ham is if it's on a Monte Cristo sandwich. That's the only time I'm okay with it. Only time I'm okay with it. Here we have a drink of beer plus lemon plus salt on the lips. It's really good. It makes cheap beer delicious. That sounds interesting. With all the watermelon combinations? I don't know. I guess because watermelon is like mostly water. I guess watermelon's mostly water. <laughs> You've never heard that one? Oh, I hear it all the time. <laughs> I guess that's a colloquialism. Sally, I have to go. Happy birthday, Nami. Take care. Thank you for coming by. And thank you so much for the birthday wishes. Poutine? Wait. You put poutine? You put poutine on your watermelon? Like, the, f the full thing? Like, the gravy, the fries, the curds, the whole poutine on your melons? Ham is kind of gross, but bacon is... Yeah, I like bacon. I like bacon. I like any other form of pork, but ham. I hate ham. I don't like ham. <laughs> it was an accident. I, w I need to hear how this accident happened. I like a standard watermelon. Why mess with it? Uh, people just have a natural tendency to, to mess with things. Canadians are built different. <laughs> The only time I eat ham is during Thanksgiving, and only Thanksgiving. I eat it only on Monte Cristo sandwiches. That's the only time ham is acceptable. I never really liked ham in the first place, and then uh, I had a an honors biology class where I had to dissect fetal pigs, and let me tell you, they smell exactly like ham. Just the whole time, it just smells like a ham. <laughs> so, that really just cemented, like, I don't like ham. It's, it's not a good time. So, like, spam? I love spam. Spam's great. Spam's great. Happy birthday! From your secret valentine. Ooh! <laughs> thank you, thank you. Oh no, yeah, it was bad. It was bad. It smelled exactly like ham the whole time. No wonder you don't like it. Can you blame you for that one? Yeah, I didn't like it before. And then, like, the whole time you're working on dissecting a fetal pig, it smells like just pure ham. Someone invented watermelon pizza. Oh yeah, I've seen the watermelon pizza. It looks dumb. <laughs> it looks dumb. It's like... One of those Pinterest projects that a mom that's trying to be cool would would see it would be like, I'm gonna make this for my kids' birthday party, and they bring it out and they're like, I made this this fun fruit pizza, and everyone hates it because they just wanted actual pizza. <laughs> Never tried spam. Really need to. How do you recommend it? I just like uh, cutting it into slices and then fry it up in a pan for a little bit. It's good. A spam sandwich, you can't go wrong with that. Oh, a spam musubi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spam's great. You would dig smelling ham? No, no. We had to like break its jaws open. Like, get your hand in there and pull to break its jaw open so that you could look in its mouth. 
Because someone comes up with me <laughs> to be with a fruit pizza with throwing hands. How dare you try to fruit my pizza? Sounds very specific. Nami, any story you want to tell us? No. Mm -mm. No. I, I don't have any fruit pizza story. I don't have any fruit pizza or Pinterest mom story. Can you break our jaws? Probably not. Um, I only had enough force in my body to break a small pig's jaw. <laughs> Hardcore classes? Yeah, it was for honors classes. I think... The normal classes dissected like an eyeball or a frog or something. And we had fetal pigs. Just whole fetal pigs. Happy birthday! Thank you so much, Andrew! Thank you, thank you! 69, nice. <laughs> nice! <laughs> A high kick would do the job? I don't think so. I don't think so. Di what? What? I am not dissecting anyone here. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. <laughs> Did a frog and a squid. Oh. Was the squid that interesting? There's not much... There's not much guts in them in the first place. There's not much guts in them in the first place. <laughs> dissecting herojis, let's go. No! <laughs> We're not dissecting anyone. Dissect me with a scissor kick. <laughs> there is not any dissection, bisection, no. No sectioning. No sectioning. Are you playing, Squirrel? That's a toy? Never end up having any dissections in classes. <laughs> Lucky I had to dissect a cow tongue and lamb. Ew. Is that scalpel you go there and dissect it? I don't want to dissect anyone. Why is my bitrate being crazy right now? Stop that. You'll settle for a hug? That's a way better uh, thing to ask for <laughs> than being dissected. What's wrong with you guys? What's wrong with you guys want to be dissected? <laughs> it's fucked up. During stream, but it's just not me dissecting chat while eating the pepper cake. No! I was wondering. Yeah, yeah. My bitrate went a little crazy for a half second. For a half second. Just a little bit. Might be some hidden. Treasure? I don't- I don't believe that. <laughs> I don't believe that. I don't think there's any sort of treasure in here. Uh-uh. Um, no, there's no treasure in your bodies. I, we already broke your bones into dust earlier. Do we really need to dissect it with all the- all the- all the bone dust? Rattling around? Start talking about watermelons and talking about dissection. You love to see it. Unfortunately, that's how things go here. Unfortunately, that's how things go here. Sounding mighty disagreeable. Maybe we can meet in the middle with the scalpel. No scalpel. No sharp implements. Mm -mm, nope. <laughs> and then bone dust and the ashes and they eat us. No. No. I'm not doing that. That's not happening. That's not happening. It's a happy birthday stream, not a kill and dissect Hiroji stream. <laughs> Please. Please understand. Stabbing someone to life? No. No. Someone better call in real quick. Are we going weird or not, me? <laughs> Chaff reflects the streamer? No! I... <laughs> At no point have I insinuated that I would dissect anyone. At no point has that been a thing. Mm-mm. 
I don't know where you're getting that. I don't know where you're getting that. You're out of your minds. You're out of your minds. You're crazy. Out of your gourds. Human body has 0.2 milligrams of gold. On 9,500 herbages, you'd have almost 2 kilograms of gold. That's a lot of effort. No, but why were you a fan of that Room 5 video again? There's no dissection in that. There's no dissection in that. Okay? <laughs> a lot of gotcha money. I don't spend money on gotcha. Unless it's Shinmu and then I have no choice. But then it's game money. It's game money. It's not real It's not real people money. Even though the Leona banner is on right now, I'm not spending any money on it. Hm. Not spending any money on... On, on the gotcha. She! Let me unmute. Ah, ah, no, me. Happy birthday! Thank you! Hi! How are you? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm doing good. I'm trying to convince uh, chat to not make me dissect them. Oh! Wh wait, what? <laughs> I know! <laughs> I, don't know why I don't know, she. Yes, I don't know. I don't think I survived that. I don't know why they want this, but they keep asking for it. Oh no. I don't want to dissect them. That'd be... Yeah, then who are you going to talk to if they're all dissected? I don't think they'll be able to... I don't think they'll be able to talk after that. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I have to <laughs> I would have to like puppet them. <laughs> Just make them into little finger puppets. Uh, yeah. And then like put them, you know, like when SpongeBob's like the gang's all here. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh no, I'm gonna be dissected. Hold on, wait a second. <laughs> wait, who's dissecting she? Somebody said I'm gonna be dissected now. <laughs> I'm not dissecting she. If that's what she. mommy really wants for her birthday, then I would be, but... <laughs> no, 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 I don't want to dissect you, she. I like you alive. <laughs> oh, thank you. I like you alive, too. Aw, uh, thanks. <laughs> I like your Peppa Pig cake. Oh, thanks. Yeah, Isla, Isla sent it to me. It's got a... Um, oh. It's got a big old dirty nose on it. Oh, my. <laughs> it's even worse if Tama's wow. not covering it. So we've got... That's got quite the, quite the honker on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, the cake's going to get you demonetized. <laughs> That's why it's hidden. That's why it's hidden. <laughs> Amazing. Wow, it's beautiful. Mm hmm Yeah. I look I gave it to me after I was like, man, I would love to have some of that Peppa Pig cake on her birthday. And she was like, hey, can I send you the cake? <laughs> Amazing. It's beautiful. It is, it is. What's been what's been the favorite your favorite part of your birthday? Who's um your David K naming me Namie? Uh, that's, that's, they got what? my, yeah, my cameo, oh. my cameo. <laughs> you got a cameo? Wait, who is, who is David K? What's David K is the voice of Sashomaru from Inuyasha. Oh, he called you Naimi. He called me Naimi. <laughs> <laughs> that's so cute. <laughs> Happy birthday, Naimi. You have a lot of names. I remember the first time. Like when we all met and we were like talking on Slack, I called you Najimi mm -hmm. because I like can't read. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Raina still calls you Najimi sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Raina now calls me Naji because she typoed my name as Najimi <laughs> <laughs> one time. I was like, ooh, that's an interesting name, <laughs> Najimi. Ooh, <laughs> sounds kind of like Genie. I was like, ooh, cool. <laughs> like, wait, that's wrong. <laughs> Yeah. And now it's stuck. We've got a lot of nicknames going now. Yeah, yeah. We've got we got Naji. We've got Nami. We've got uh, another one from Reina being Nami Mommy. Ooh. <laughs> There's a lot going on here. It's amazing. Uh, a woman of many names. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good. It's beautiful. <laughs> and many hats right now. <laughs> yeah, you got three hats going. Yeah. Double, triple the birthday spirit. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I like how your balloon has a little hat, too. Yeah, they asked so to cute. give him a hat, and I was like, oh, yeah, okay, we'll give him a hat. <laughs> Adorable. <laughs> and I just saw the dog behind me. 
so oh, cute. it's a kitty cat. Look at it. It's drinking wine. Oh, it's a cat. Oh, wow. <laughs> Don't they make, I swear I saw something that was like, they make like cat wine or something. Yeah, yeah, they have cat wine. We were yeah. looking it up one day. We were looking it up, I think, during my <laughs> my New Year's stream. We were like, wait, what? cat wine? Does that exist? Can cat have wine? Obviously not. I wonder what it <laughs> actually is. What it's made of. <laughs> okay, so the cat wine has like uh, catnip oil and stuff in it. So it actually oh. is basically like liquid catnip. But it has like beet oh, juice. Okay. Mm hmm. <laughs> That's so cool. You just have a glass of wine with your cat. You can be like ultimate cat lady. Oh my have god. A glass of wine with your cat. That would be ultimate <laughs> cat lady. Like you sit down yeah, for a glass of me. wine in the evening and you fix your cat a glass of wine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'd be amazing. It tastes as you expect. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if it tastes like if it tastes like beets. Interesting. Maybe I'll try to get some for my cat one day. I want to see if he likes it. Although he never really has catnip. But I remember when I first got my cat, uh, I bought him some toys, and I didn't really know that toys have catnip in them because it's the first cat I ever had. Oh, and so he yeah. just looked like so like <laughs> gone after playing <laughs> with his toys all day. <laughs> it was so sad. To watch. Yeah, yeah. Most cat <laughs> most cat toys have like catnip infused in them already. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, some of them will come with like little packets of catnip, so you don't have to have the catnip. But yeah, a lot of them have catnip in like already in it <laughs> or infused. So they just decide that your cat needs to be high all the time. Yeah. <laughs> I guess he was mellowed out. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting though. A lot of cats like... Their reaction to catnip is they go like crazy instead. Yeah, that's why I feel. Yeah, it was really weird. I wonder mm. if it was because he was so he was so little. Or something. Maybe I don't know. Maybe, Maybe he just had way too much. I don't know what happens. <laughs> but no, he doesn't normally have it. So I wonder if he'd react the same as an adult. <laughs> well, you got to get him some cat wine and find out. I guess so. Yeah. I'll have to, I'll There's have to also find some. dog wine, so everyone can really? enjoy. Yeah, everyone can have some good oh wine. I feel like I really want that now because I also enjoy some dog wine as in like Snoop Dogg brand wine. It's what? Actually very good, so I can have dog wine. <laughs> Snoop Dogg makes a really good rosé. <laughs> I found it at Walmart one time. I have I, to find really, out. I get it regularly. Wait, so he's been 19 okay, crimes? Oh, yeah, I no, didn't know that was his. Snoop Dogg rosé. I drink it all the time and so I can have dog wine. While my dog is having dog wine. I've seen <laughs> I've seen the um the bottles for this. I'm like, these bottles are really interesting. I had no clue it was Snoop Dogs. Yeah, it's Snoop Dogg. <laughs> That's crazy. It's I'm gonna have to good. try it now. Yeah. If you like sweet wine, then you'll like the rosé. Yeah, I like, I like sweets. sweeter wines. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, he's got one that's Martha. <laughs> Martha? Like Martha Stewart? Yeah. Martha's are they, are they Chardonnay. Or yeah, yeah. He and Martha oh, wow. are friends. Wow. I mean, she <laughs> also amazing. went to prison, so you know, that makes sense. <laughs> oh, she was she on the did, 19th. Yeah, she? yeah. I yeah. about that. Yeah, it was like stocks, <laughs> I think. I think she was in prison for like stocks. Wow. Prison pals. Those two. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Quite the combo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You gotta uh, sit down with your prison pal, have some good 19 crimes wine. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Stew he's dogs, just like, rose. He's just like prison. Mm hmm. Oh, he's don't say like that. <laughs> don't say oh, that. No. That's gonna sound like it, it's toilet wine. Have you seen? Oh, no. Oh, yeah. That's how they make, like, they'll make <laughs> stuff in the toilet. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> You think, I feel like, I feel like Snoop Dogg maybe like got a fancy prison or something. Maybe he could have wine. I don't know. I don't know where he went or where Martha Stewart went. I feel like they'd go in some like fancy prison. Yeah, they, they probably went in a fancy prison. prison, for prison. Fancy people? Yeah, probably like cushy, <laughs> cushy, low security prison. Yeah. Yeah. For the rich it's people. Like just like a little, little home. <laughs> yeah, it's like rehab. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> maybe they could enjoy a glass. I don't know. Of not toilet wine. <laughs> <laughs> not toilet. <laughs> uh, that's so gross. That makes me toilet think of the movie wine. Let's like Go to Prison. When it, uh, maybe, probably. <laughs> well, I, the alcohol would probably kill the germs, right? 
when it ferments. Okay, yeah, that's true. Yeah. What if you have to pee while you're making it? Um. What do you do? I don't Just know. Don't. <laughs> I've I've never been in prison making toilet wine. So. <laughs> Some friends that have been maybe and I don't know if they can tell me <laughs> she on the lookout for convicts that have made toilet wine anyone else need not I apply like... <laughs> I wonder like which kawaii girl would like get sent to prison easiest maybe I can we can like have someone on the inside and learn how <laughs> now that's a different <laughs> That's a different question. Who, like an who would go cop, into prison easiest? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I'll volunteer, but... <laughs> yeah, what are you going to do to Just get into prison? Bit. Um, well, maybe I'll, like, hit some bikers. Oh, yeah, yeah. I already kind of do that in, in GTA because I, I just... I hate driving next to bikers. Mm -hmm. Driving crazy. So maybe if I just like road rage real hard, then I go to prison. Well, if I, I feel like killing people, people would get me in prison for a long time. I just want to go for a little bit, a couple weeks, like long enough to make some toilet wine, and then I'll go home. Because <laughs> <laughs> so I gotta do some some like light crime. Some I have an agenda. Crime. I'm just here to make toilet wine, and then I would like to go home. Please understand. Yeah. Do you think you could just ask them, like, hey, could I be in prison for a bit? Yeah. <laughs> Like a little, I can tell them, oh, I'm a, I'm a student and I'm doing a social experiment and this is for my studies. And they'll be like, wow, you're so scholarly, please go ahead. I think you would have Maybe. a better chance of like saying you're a, a journalist. You're a journalist doing a like- A journalist. Yeah. Yeah. But then you might need an actual unless, press pass. Unless it's like a prison, a black market prison where they do crimes in prison and they don't want me to see. Like the, the 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 people in charge do if they do crimes too, then they wouldn't want me to see it. It could be a whole black market thing, and I wouldn't know. I mean, most most prisons are pretty corrupt and and run improperly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they wouldn't even let me in. They're like, journalists. We don't want this in the news. No way. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> How how to, okay? I'll just hit the streets. Yeah, you're just gonna have to like go for it, I guess. Actually, commit a crime. Yeah, yeah. I'll just have to dive in. It'll be okay. Well, we could watch <laughs> the movie fun. "Let's Go to Prison" as research, because I mean that's an intentional prisoning, yeah. you know. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. <laughs> I love that movie. Definitely. It's so funny. I've never seen it. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> It sounds good. It sounds interesting. <laughs> like, like the end of the movie is so funny. They actually like toilet wine is a big part of the movie. Let's go to prison. Oh really? Yeah, and at the end of the I'm, movie, I'm interested. <laughs> at the end of the movie, they actually like establish a wine brand. <laughs> wow! Oh my gosh! Imagine it's toilet wine, and you don't even know. That'd be crazy. Yeah, they have like a Snoop some Dogs, uh, like a sommelier. Like they are tasting it, and they're like, "This is disgusting." And they're like, <laughs> "Yeah, it's it's toilet wine essentially." Wow. Yeah, it's got oh, Dax Shepard and Will Arnett in it. It's it's very very oh, good. Wow. It sounds good. I have, to, I have to watch that. That sounds amazing. When does the kawaii toilet wine drop? Never, never. <laughs> well, ask she. She's the one that wants to learn toilet wine. Wait, can we just look up how to yeah. make toilet wine? Pro oh, I didn't think to... <laughs> <laughs> I was ready to drive, drive straight into the prison system. <laughs> look up. She it's was ready to go out. to prison and hope that someone there would know how to make toilet wine and would tell her. Why are you growling at me? Come here, silly. <laughs> Oh my gosh, there's a wiki how. How to make Puma with pictures. <laughs> it's real. Yeah, yeah, they, they it's, it's called Pruno. Pruno originated in and remains largely confined oh. to prisons where it can be produced with the limited selection of equipment ingredients available to inmates. The concoction can be made using only a plastic bag, hot running water, and a towel or sock to conceal the pulp during fermentation. This is insane. Oh. There's an artisan pruno ingredients list and then a minimalist pruno ingredients list. 
artisan. You have options. <laughs> like how fancy you want to be. Artisan like, oh, toilet wine. I have a guest. I'll bring up the art. I'll bring up the artisan program. Yes, yes, yes. The the good yeah. the good bottle. The good bottle, James. <laughs> <laughs> bring out the good prune. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, whatever. This is on a stove. It's not even in a toilet. Oh. This is like Weenie Hut Jr. Pruno. I want the real deal. Here's... <laughs> what a ripoff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gross. This picture looks so, so bad. You want to see it? <laughs> Yeah, I want to see. <laughs> it's like this jar of Pruno, <laughs> aka toilet wine, doesn't look too appetizing. They're right; it looks terrible. I'm gonna. I'm DM, shocked. I'm gonna DM it to you because I'm not gonna put okay. it in the server. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. It looks so bad. Oh, where'd it go? Wait, what the heck? Oh, wait, I'm not a school. Metalizer, right thank you for becoming a is chosen awesome? hero. Thank you, thank you. Or is it on Discord? It's on Discord, on Discord. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, ew, oh, yucky. Yeah, doesn't it look gross? Oh, that looks weird. Yeah. It's all like separated. It's like all thick ew. looking and like opaque. It's like... It's like orange juice. But like there's like... It's 80% pulp. Yeah. And then the top part's all watery and weird. It's very Ooh. gross looking. Oh, look, look, look. Maybe I will take the wiki helper now instead. <laughs> well, this article tells you how to how to make it, right? Yeah. All yeah, right, if you'd like to try your hand at toilet wine, by all means, do. They're yes. telling you. Oh my gosh, that would be a fun... Uh, do a stream where I end up, you know. <laughs> That'd be fun. <laughs> You'll need 10 to 12 oranges. No way. What? Oh, yeah. Look. You'll need 10 to 12 <laughs> oranges, but you can use anything sweet like cake frosting, ketchup, or jelly packets. Oh. Weird. <laughs> a can of fruit cocktail, a packet of dried yeast. Purists can use a discarded dinner roll or a piece of bread. Three cups of sugar Moist, and like one gallon bread. plastic bag with a seal. Or a trash bag. This is no time to be picky. <laughs> <laughs> we take what we can get here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Where's the toilet part of this? Where's where's the toilet part? I don't know. So when, I, when I'm looking at the wiki how, they like cook some stuff on the stove and then they put it in a bag, wrapped it up with a heated blanket. Where are you supposed to get a heated blanket? Is that? Daily. Burp the bag. What? Oh, yeah. Burp that bag. <laughs> oh, they submersed it. Uh, they put it in uh, cold water. That's 15 minutes. Put it back in the heated blanket. Oh, the reason it's called Which toilet wine is because it's often hidden in the toilet tanks. Oh, it's not toilet water? No. <laughs> it with the toilet water <laughs> and then they were throwing the ingredients in there and like stewing it up yeah that <laughs> that makes a lot more sense actually <laughs> okay i thought i thought man okay so it's a little better than i thought yeah although it does say can pruno kill someone <laughs> drinking pruno can give you botulism which can kill you <laughs> what is botulism that sounds awful what is botulism yeah it says uh, turns out prisoners and home brewers could get more than a buzz from toilet wine. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention occasionally reports an uptick in cases of botulism associated with toilet wine. <laughs> botulism oh, is a life-threatening <laughs> toxin created by the bacterium Clostridium botulinum that causes paralysis. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, no, I love paralysis. Okay, maybe I will. Maybe you can't stream. Yeah, you're more likely to get this if you're making your wine in the clink and not able to boil your mixture at a high heat. Or you can't secure fresh yeast and are making do with an old dinner roll or baked potato. Okay, so Ooh. as long as you use fresh yeast and you boil it at a high enough heat, you should probably not get botulism. <laughs> okay. 
Yeah, I don't think I want botulism. I don't think you want botulism. <laughs> that doesn't sound great. <laughs> that doesn't sound great. Yeah. Do you want this article no, with this how-to of making Pruno? Yes, she... yes, please. Hey, all right, I'll, I'll give it to you yeah. on Slack. <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> I just couldn't believe there was a weekly how. They surely have it for everything. Oh, Ooh, God, it, it showed that image again. Gross. <laughs> Man, should have should have had some some Pruno here to drink at <laughs> your party. I don't think so. I don't think that would be a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just wanted to stop this. Say happy birthday, and I love you a whole bunch. Thank I you hope so you have much. Best ever. Oh, thank you. I love you, She. I'm glad we could talk about toilet wine <laughs> together. <laughs> Too. I'm glad. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad you let this happen. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll talk to you later, Navi. I love you. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> there we go. There goes toilet wine. She. She and I are going to prison to make some toilet wine. I guess. <laughs> What the heck just happened? Oh, you know, toilet wine. Pruno. Pruno. She makes life choices. She sure does. Every stream, <laughs> every stream is an experience. Guaranteed. Guaranteed experience. What kind? I don't know. I don't know. I. <laughs> Glad to have the toilet collapse soon. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna gather around a toilet, uh, make some toilet wine. Maybe it'll be multiple days. We'll have to burp the bag. <laughs> we don't talk about Pruno. Yeah, we don't talk about Pruno. No, no. We don't talk about Pruno. The the image really is super gross. Do you guys want to see it? You guys want to see the gross picture? <laughs> Bruno looked so gross according to this image. Yeah, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let me get you the gross Pruno image. You guys are very willing to look at gross things. Oh, it's very small, but like, ew, gucky, ew, gucky, ew. Why is it so thick looking? Why is it so thick looking? Ew, gucky, ew. Ew, gucky, ew. It looks so bad. It looks so bad. <laughs> it looks like the jar. No, it looks like a gamer bottle. It looks like a gross old gamer bottle. Maybe a mixed gamer bottle, you know, jar and gamer bottle come together to make something really, really terrible and disgusting. And it shouldn't exist. It shouldn't exist. <laughs> Throw out your gamer bottle. <laughs> Happy birthday to me. I'm saying really gross things. Very, very gross. Bad concept. We have milk at home. No, no. I don't like milk. I don't like milk. No milk. Thank you. <laughs> I don't like milk. It's bad. What? Oh, what? Nah, I mean, what? My little, my little jingle. <laughs> A concept deals more damage than the knife concept. Yeah, it's, it's gross. It's gross. <laughs> it's disgusting. It's very bad. I don't like it. I don't want to... I don't want to... I don't want to think about it anymore. We have orange juice at home. No, no, no. <laughs> milk bad? Yeah, I don't like milk. I don't like drinking milk. Unless it, um, it has ice in it. 
I only drink milk if it has ice. Or, or if I'm eating cookies and I'm dipping my cookies in the milk. Or if I'm turning... Uh... Oreos into sludge. Ice? Yeah, yeah, milk with ice. Yeah, I put ice in my milk if I'm gonna drink just milk. Emmerak, thank you for leveling up. Thank you, thank you. I think Metalizer also leveled up earlier, not joined, but <laughs> I hope the thank you was sufficient. Nice Oreo milkshake. Yeah, I love Oreo milkshakes, but I mean, like, you get a glass of milk, right? You put a bunch of Oreos in it, and you just let it sit. You just let it sit for like 20 to 30 minutes. And then the Oreos disintegrate and become like this this sludge at the bottom. And you stir it up with a spoon and you eat it. <laughs> you eat it with the spoon. And then you drink the rest of it once you can't eat any more of it with the spoon. It's so good. That's my favorite way to have Oreos in milk is to have it as a sludge. <laughs> Mushy Oreo Sludge is great. It's my favorite. I love it. I love it. A flashback to Isla doing that with cereal. <laughs> okay, the difference is that the Oreos are are like much better once they're sludge in the milk. We get the perfect ratio of Oreo to milk because it's all soaked up into the Oreos and then they def they just fall apart. <laughs> They just fall apart. Oreo sludge is good. You don't you don't know what you're talking about if you've never had Oreo sludge. The Oreos are kind of meant to be sludged. Yeah, you gotta sludge your Oreos. Come on now. Come on now. Grow up. Grow up. Sludge your Oreos. Stop being babies. <laughs> sludge your Oreos. <laughs> air fried Oreos. I've had air I've not air fried, but I've had fried Oreos. Those are good. Maybe it wouldn't seem so bad if, in my mind if I hadn't just seen the toilet wine pick. That's fair. That's fair. The only sludge I eat is the type that slowly drips out of pipes. That sounds worse than Oreo sludge. But do that with the chocolate Teddy Graham snacks too? I never had Teddy Grahams. Teddy Grahams were expensive. We didn't have those. Come on now, you're adult. Sludge your Oreos. Come on now. Come on now. Be an adult. Sludge your Oreo. Does that mean we could get a cooking stream in the future? I don't know. I don't know. Cooking streams are a lot of setup. If you're not dragging your whole uh, air fryer into your room like Isla. Like Isla. Yeah, my kitchen's pretty small. Uh, there's not much counter space. I do have a lot of people in the house. And it would also be a nightmare to try and set up, like, a stream situation in the kitchen. Because there's a lot of wires and equipment and stuff that goes into streaming. And I would have to stream from my MacBook, and streaming from your MacBook is a nightmare on its own. Let alone all the equipment that you would need. Macs are just terrible to stream from. A nightmare and a half. A start a fire in your room? No. No, that would probably kill my birds. They have very, very sensitive lungs. Yeah, my MacBook is the only like laptop that I have right now. Otherwise, I have a desktop and I can't... Exactly drag my desktop to the kitchen. <laughs> I can't drag my desktop to the kitchen. <clears throat> Why not? Because it's too much effort. I would have to plug everything back in. I have to plug everything back in. I've got... Three monitors plugged in. I've got 
my capture card and everything. Like, there's a lot. There's a lot plugged in and a lot of wires and a lot of me having to crawl back under my desk, which is already a nightmare to get under to plug things in. Happy birthday, Nami! Thank you! Thank you, thank you! MacBook suffering, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's great for what I was using it for whenever I needed a laptop, which was doing schoolwork on it. It runs Maya just fine. It runs Maya just fine. <laughs> so, you know, when I've needed it, it did its job. What you said, the cable manage... There is no cable management. Cable management is a lofty idea that we can't afford here. <laughs> There's no cable management. No Oreo sledge crafting stream at your room? I would have to buy milk then. I'd have to buy milk. Got the voice packs? Hell yeah, you better not go listen to them yet. You gotta wait. You gotta wait. You gotta wait. Point A to point B mentality. I look, if it plugs in, that's great. <laughs> if it can reach and it can plug in, that's all I'm about. <clears throat> A cable rat nest? Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Even inside of my case is kind of a rat nest. I tried to make it kind of decent. It, it's okay. It's mild, it mildly managed inside of the case. <laughs> mildly managed inside of the case, but the rest of everything is... There's so many cables everywhere. There's so many things to plug in and manage. And... I simply can't be bothered. I simply can't be bothered. Imagine buying milk. What are we, skeletons? Now, who gets milk? Who gets milk? Nami setup reveal win? Never. Mm -mm. No, my, my desk is a disaster. There's like... <laughs> Wait, let me count. One, two, three, four... Four types of lip balm on top of my desk right now. There's... An empty bottle of migraine medicine. I think an empty bottle of allergy medicine. There's two bottles of nail polish. There's three controllers, I think, up here. There's an old phone I don't use anymore. There's glasses all over the place. There's a box of... Can you hear this? Can you guess what this is? <gasps> Hi, Sharzu! Thank you! Thank you, thank you! If you can guess what this is... You win a prize. Candies? Nope. An old sunflower seed shells? Mm-mm. Tic Tacs? Nope. Altoids? Mm -mm, nope. Box of crackers? Nope. Paper clips? Nah. -uh. You'll never guess it. You want to know what it is? It's crickets. Sour cream and onion crickets. Sour cream and onion crickets. Everyone was wrong. <laughs> Sour cream and onion crickets. I'm sorry, what? Yeah, my sister got them for me. Um, she got... Oh, that just broke up quite a few of them. She got them for me because she wanted to see me eat them. Because once upon a time I had the salt and vinegar crickets. Those were actually pretty okay. <laughs> those were actually pretty okay. My friend and I lost a bet to eat those. They're not that bad. Crickets actually aren't nearly as like grossly crunchy as you think that they would be. But this is the salt and vinegar type. Uh, no, this is the sour cream and onion, excuse me. I've had the salt and vinegar, those weren't bad. I haven't had this, the sour cream and onion yet. I have not eaten them yet. But I know my sister wants to witness it, so I guess I'll wait to eat them for her. Are they alive? No, they're dead. <laughs> they're dead. <laughs> they're, they're very dead. They're very dry, dead crickets covered in seasoning. 
Why did you make me Google this? I didn't make you do anything. Flabbergasted yet somehow unsurprised. Look, I've said it. I've said it. I'll try most things once, at least. And, like, honestly, the worst part of the idea of eating crickets is that they're going to be, like, really gross, uh, crunchy. But they're not that bad. They're not that bad. They're not that bad of a crunch. It's, it kind of is just like eating a chip. Have you tasted fried tarantulas? I have not. I have not. Save and eat them with non during the Soylent collab? No. <laughs> no, we're going to be dying already from the Soylent. Nan and I are already making sure that we have the next day, like, off. That the next day off for our Soylent collab. Have you ever tried guinea pig? No, I I owned a guinea pig at one point in time. It was named Rocco. Like, Rocco's Modern Life. Let me just fuck up every word there. Rocco's Modern Life. <laughs> Rocco. One particular insect here, the white saga worms? It's like chickens when fried. Oh, interesting. Uh, except, like, unlike the chip, the cricket has legs. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Had? Yeah, this was years ago. This was years ago. Many, many years ago. We eat guinea pig at my spawn country. Huh, interesting. Occupy the porcelain throne for a day after the first round of Soylent drinks? Wait, you had that much Soylent? <laughs> I mean, Nan and I are planning to have, like, five bottles of it. We're gonna be out of commission. We're gonna be in a bad way. Like, we were discussing when to actually have it, and we were like, all right, strategize. Oh, Isla's here! Isla! Ah. Uh, <laughs> wait. <laughs> I'm, on, I'm, I'm on my phone right now. Good morning, I Isla. <laughs> Wait. Wait a minute. Okay, Wait, okay. Just... I just woke up, and the first thing I wanted to do was jump on your birthday stream. <laughs> and I'm here now. Thank you so much. I I love your, your lovely little morning voice. <laughs> Okay, whoa, 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 wait a minute. How do I? I'm trying to figure out how to use freaking Discord. Isn't that oh, just a question? Phone. Wait. Uh, wait, 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 wait. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna return. Wait. wait okay. Wait. All right. Get my wife's picture in here. There we go. I let Chama Boomer status confirmed. <laughs> Our wife? No, she's my wife. She's my wife. My very, very barely awake wife. Just get hurt during adventure and now he forces us to eat the crickets while calling us babies. <laughs> this is what you wake up to every day. No, but I'd be okay with that. Oh, she's back. There we go. Hi. Hi. Hi, Hi I'm back. Thank you. How was your birthday so far? Oh god, I missed like two hours? Holy shit. Ah, uh, you know, I'm me. That means we've been going a normal amount of time for my story streams. 
We talked about toilet wine, um, dissecting the Hiroji's. I got a new name from our cameo. Um, I'm now Namie, so... <laughs> Namely... <laughs> oh! Which, which uh, voice actor or actor did you, did you get? They got me David Kay, who is the English voice actor for Sashomaru from Inuyasha. Oh god, yeah, you know, yeah, so we should we should watch that or I should watch that. I don't know how many times you have watched it already, but I think a lot of people have convinced me to watch it to watch it. And it only took me one Nami to do so. <laughs> yeah! It's so... I love Inuyasha so much. I would happily watch it with you again. I actually watched the whole series um, all the way through like two years ago. So I'm due for a rewatch. <laughs> oh! Oh! Would you say that Inuyasha is like your favorite anime? Uh, you know what? It's probably up there. It's probably up there. I don't know what my very mm. favorite one would be, but it's definitely up there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just cool. Oh my gosh, just woke up. And um, I'm suffering with like morning allergies. I'm so sorry, why? Oh, it's okay. But... I'm sorry you're not feeling great. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's just during the mornings that I feel like this. But when I get up, get some breakfast, take a shower, I will feel. 100% back to normal already. <laughs> yeah. I just don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's because of the power of love, but when I woke up, I was just like, "Wait, I got to check YouTube and see <laughs> if Naomi is still streaming." That was the first thing that popped up in my mind. So I'm like, "Wait, but I sound like shit." You sound so lovely. <laughs> Especially last night, I was, you know, I think I practically murdered my throat last night during the stream. I was streaming as well last night. I wasn't even supposed to, like, do a scheduled stream. There, was, there wasn't there was anything scheduled for last night. It was just a gorilla. And I was planning it for, te like, five to ten minutes, just showing the new discovery I've had with my model. But it, it, it like, turned into, like, I don't know. I uh, next thing I know, I was singing like low, you know, low. Yeah. Apple yeah. <laughs> I yeah. saw that and part. I do <laughs> <laughs> and I was doing like opera singing and voice acting. Like I I don't know. Now I now I don't I don't know what's wrong with my voice right now. I feel more dead than I am. <laughs> You've sacrificed a lot. Honestly, there seems to be like a. A rolling throat problem heading through the the VTubers. I've seen a lot of people be like, "Oh, my <laughs> voice is out, it's gone," or like, "I've gotten sick and having to like call off streams or push them back." Like, VTubers are going through mm -hmm. it right now. Um, yeah, I don't know, but maybe it has something to do with like being sick. Cause have you heard? Have you heard recently that our CEO has been sick? And then one of our managers has been sick as well. Oh, like really? Everyone has been... Yeah. Everyone has been sick. And I was actually afraid that maybe I am sick too. Because I've been coughing recently. But I kind of just noticed, hmm, maybe I'm just choking on some water. Because sometimes when I drink water, I drink, like, I drink it aggressively. Mm -hmm. do, do, do you get what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I yeah, I do that. I... <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes I find myself choking on water, like glug 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 glug. Wait, I just realized. Oh God, yeah, you're screaming. Why am I saying this to you? <laughs> People can literally hear. People can literally hear me. No, it's okay. I I've can't. I've almost choked to death on stream from drinking water once, so it's okay. What? Yeah. <laughs> So it's like hydrate and I and I did and then I started choking, dying, coughing, and I was like, <laughs> You guys are killing me. You're out here to kill me. <laughs> I made sure they heard it. You? <laughs> they heard it? Yeah, they heard me coughing like I was literally dying. 
Oh god, l l every time I cough or I feel like a cough is gonna come, I do my best to mute because I don't want people to like hear my old man coughing. Whenever I cough, I sound like a freaking old man. <laughs> and there was this one time, there was one time I played I played a game with like a chat, so uh so there were people we were playing in voice chat. Okay. So I I was going to cuff and then I muted on stream but not in the game. So people literally heard me <laughs> cuff like crazy like <laughs> 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 And then and then I hear someone saying, "You okay?" I look <laughs> I'm like I'm like what the fuck? I forgot to you okay? <laughs> Oh god damn embarrassing. Listen, there's no like delicate way of coughing in a way that'll actually make like a difference when you cough. If you're gonna cough and it make a difference, you really gotta go through it. Like if you do like a little <laughs> like that's not gonna do anything. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but when you do that, it'll make your Cuff, I don't know, worse. It'll make your throat e itchier. I've tried it. Okay. I mean, I've actually tried it on stream. Yeah, um, yeah. It, it just like, it, it aggravates it more because you're like, I can't actually clear it by doing that. So you're just so much more aware of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. It's like when you try to delicately <laughs> clear your throat. If I really need to clear my throat, I just mute and, and I, I go for it. <laughs> <laughs> we have to talk a lot on stream, okay? If you talked for like two to three hours straight, you would also be sounding like an old man clearing your throat. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <clears throat> uh it will be it will be like worse. I don't know, it will be like worse if you were to be like changing your voice. Like or if you're like speaking in a voice range that's not in your range mm -hmm. but the funny thing about me is that i'm not i'm like speaking in my most normal voice as i can and i still manage to like cuff a lot <laughs> because i don't know <laughs> It's so weird. Uh, my worst moments have been like doing little silly voices for characters that like try to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, can you give me can you give me an example? Right yeah, now? yeah, yeah. Um, how how does old man crow's voice go from death's door again? Let me let me get like a line to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, da 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 da. What? Someone give me a line. Someone give me a line. <laughs> <laughs> Chat, give me something to say as old man Crow. He was killing me. <laughs> oh, yeah, the deluge mm -hmm. voice from Pyre was also killing me. Yeah, the old Crow. I'm a bird. That's not a good enough line. <laughs> 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 what am I supposed to do with that? I mean, you can try. Um, can I just look up something like cryptic bullshit voice line? <laughs> <laughs> How about you try confessing to me in the, the, the voice, the old crow <laughs> voice? That would be such a concept. All right, let me let me see if I can drum it up. All right, hold on. Yay! <clears throat> How does it how does it go again? Oh my god, help, help. Oh I can't help. You can't help me. It's just, oh god. Old man crow. Old man crow, where did you go in my brain? Where'd you go in my brain? <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. If you need to practice your lines, I can do that. You all can right, do that. Alright, alright. <laughs> uh God, let me let me see. We can't help you, we're text, I know! <laughs> <laughs> oh god what did old man crow sound like it was like low and gruff low and gruff stop stalling i'm not stalling mm -hmm. i'm trying to remember how it went I'm trying to remember how it went i promise 
<laughs> Wait, here's here's a sentence. <clears throat> Namaste. Do you want to sell a new age product and or service? <laughs> like like that sort of. <laughs> I love my dearest. <laughs> Will you accept my love? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's kind of how Old Man Crow sounded like, but like you can imagine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so much. Like it's so much in the throat, and he spoke so much in the game, and I wanted him to stop. I wanted him to stop speaking very, very quickly. Mm hmm. <laughs> I'm always doing that to myself. I'm I'm always like, haha, that was a silly, 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 <laughs> silly little uh, voice. I hope I don't have to keep using it. And the the character keeps keeps talking and keep talking. <laughs> they say you need to speak like Elmo now. You. Me? Yeah. Elmo, I literally just woke up. Yeah. I'm, don't make I'm her not... voice act right now. Yeah. <laughs> I don't I don't even know if I could call my elbow impression as really 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 good. Cause the story behind it is that I have a neighbor and they're a family of three mm -hmm. and they have this little kid and sometimes I would like talk and interact with their uh with their kid who likes Elmo and then they have this uh Elmo doll. So sometimes I try to borrow it and be like, Hi, I'm Elmo. Wait, I can't do the voice right now, but <laughs> I, I like acting as Elmo for them, and they're like, Ah, Elmo! Elmo, it's Elmo! I think and I heard that? it on the, on the karaoke stream that you did where you talked about the Gen oh. 2 auditions. If you remember that stream, <laughs> <laughs> I think I heard yeah. it. Because it, everyone was like, yeah, Isla is Elmo for Gen 2. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it was pretty good from what I remember. You do a pretty good Elmo. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. My wife is very talented. We, we, she's a very talented Elmo voice actress. <laughs> I don't know about if you do other voices. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't, I, I've never even tried voice acting before. A lot of people would say, hmm, Isla, you have a flexible voice, so maybe, maybe you're good at voice acting, but I, I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to voice act. I mean, you know what, speaking, speaking <laughs> people here are Elmo, like, oh, you would be a good voice actor. I'm like, I'm just doing silly little voices for silly little guy. <laughs> <laughs> It's for fun. <laughs> it's for fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I voice act. I voice act for YouTube. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, but I don't really voice act on stream. I wish I could, though. I think it would be fun to, like, play a character. I don't know. VTubers do play a character, right? They have, like, this character established. It would be cool to like voice act for it, but at the same time, you would think that, hmm, this doesn't feel really authentic. This doesn't feel genuine since it's just acting, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely <laughs> something that people can like feel. But I mean, if you want to try voice acting, you should definitely play some like story games that have a lot of dialogue that isn't voiced and then you have mm. to try and make them all different. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. That's what I do. Well, yeah. They just won't be voiced and then I'm like, oh no, this is a lot of dialogue to read and everything needs to be different. <laughs> <laughs> so that people can pay attention Let's and know. Go! Yeah, like I'm like, someone's probably going to be listening to this and not watching, and so having different voices for everyone helps a lot. Oh, yeah, true, true, true. Mm hmm. You got to make sure, uh, you know, everyone knows what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when they're barely paying attention. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. 
the, you could definitely capture their attention more with your voice acting. I've seen how good you are, you know me. Like I said, I was... I'm just out here doing silly little voices for fun. <laughs> <laughs> but trust me, it does wonders because you definitely captivated me with your old man crow voice. <laughs> My old man crow voice. One of the many. <laughs> The many flavors that come through. We could also have um What what is what is that lady in Yuppie Psycho? I feel like her she she seems like her name should be Roz, but it's definitely not Roz. But she talks like this, darling. Anyways, darling, have you seen the news? It's just terrible. I'm just telling you. <laughs> Nami, I want, you know, I want, I really want you to learn, or at least do, the, the Cookie Monster voice, so we could be like a Sesame Street duo. <laughs> Hell yeah, Elmo and the Cookie Monster, I'm here for it, I'm here for it. <laughs> I love eating cookies. <laughs> <laughs> this voice is like, really, like, low and rough mm -hmm. but he also sounds really dumb i don't know how to describe it but he's kind of just like oh i'm cookie monster <laughs> 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 sounds perfect sound like <laughs> actually at my old job they would call me cookie monster sometimes because if there were any cookies that were like left over that we could have they would be like hey do you want a cookie and i'd be like uh, hell yeah i do <laughs> Aww, i like cookies too <laughs> yeah i love cookies i love cookies they would be like my lunch sometimes yeah. i would just get like things of cookies and i would sit there and eat them for lunch um <laughs> oh not healthy do don't like do that I just yeah, like I like cookies. I like cookies. I do like um like lemon snaps and ginger snaps and I'm a big fan of uh like biscoffs. They're mm -hmm. they're like Oh, oh British yeah, yeah, cookies, yeah, yeah. yeah, those. And uh oh, okay. I've had these really nice s'mores ones. So they have chocolate oh. chip and mm -hmm. uh Marshmallow in it. It's so good. It's so good. Oh, that sounds really good. Oh, no. Why are we talking about food? I just woke up. I haven't eaten yet. Oh, oh we got to talk about not food then. Uh, she came on and talked not about toilet food. wine. So, we... <laughs> yeah, ever since you mentioned that, I've been curious about it. I was like, wait, to toilet... Did I hear you right? Toilet Yeah, wine? yeah. So, do you know about toilet wine? No. Okay, so it's something they make in prison. Uh huh. Where um they they hide the wine they're fermenting in the uh <laughs> in the toilet tank. How do they do their toilet business then? Okay, so it's like you know the tank that's at the top of the toilet. Uh huh. So that's where it's hidden. So it, it's like in a bag inside the top of the toilet where the water like refills. So it doesn't actually have any like, it doesn't touch anywhere that the business happens. Oh. Yeah. I do have one question though. Uh huh. <laughs> How did it? get to that conversation about toilet wine um we were talking about cat wine and uh mm -hmm. uh she talked about snoop dog having a wine brand and then we started talking about um really yeah apparently he has a wine brand <laughs> what? she was saying that's like one of her favorite wines is the snoop dog rose really mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh-huh. So, but then we started talking about, oh, like, oh, his brand also has one for Martha Stewart because she also went to prison. Mm -hmm. And and the brand is called 19 Crimes. Um, so, oh. then, of course, it transitioned to 
prison and wine. So toilet wine. Oh, okay, makes sense. And then yeah, she yeah, was I saying she wanted to go to prison to find out how to make toilet wine. What? <laughs> I mean, you could have just like watched a YouTube video or something. Yeah, we figured that out. We figured that out. At, at some point, we were like, oh, wait, we can look up toilet wine, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Don't need to go to prison. <laughs> she was ready to go to prison. She was like, all right, how do I get into prison for a short amount of time just to find what? out about toilet wine? Um, <laughs> We did find out that there's a high chance of you getting botulism from toilet wine, so maybe you don't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was very disappointed when she found out that it that it was um not made with toilet water, but just hidden in the toilet. What? <laughs> yeah, yeah. She really thought it was just made like in the toilet bowl with the toilet water. Oh my god, that's gross. <laughs> She wanted to find out. She wanted to try the toilet wine. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Well, maybe she can make her own toilet wine. That's what she's talking about. She's like, we could we could do a stream making toilet wine. <laughs> hopefully hopefully doesn't no botulism, you know? Doesn't the doesn't the fermentation period take very long? Yeah, it takes a while. It takes a while. She would have to do like a series of streams. You also apparently have to burp <laughs> the bag. <laughs> oh my god. She could do like a series day one of me making toilet wine. Day yeah. Day two. Yeah. <laughs> that would be such a wonderful journey. I would I would follow her journey of making toilet wine. <laughs> She's brand of toilet wine coming soon to Kawaii Streams. <laughs> Would you try her toilet wine? Yeah. Me? Mm hmm. Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. I mean, I mean, if it's like clean. Have you have really you seen clean. toilet wine? No. It's really really gross looking. Oh, please. I don't want to see it. You don't want to see it? Okay. Imagine um really uh -huh. really thick and opaque orange juice. Oh my god. Uh -huh. That's what it looks like. It looks really uh. gross. <laughs> It's orange. Yeah. It's really gross. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't want to try that. How about you? Uh, uh maybe a sip. Maybe I would a, a sip. Show it, Nami? I'm uh. not gonna show it to her. She might vomit. <laughs> 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 it looks really, really bad. Well, is the toilet clean though? Well, like the 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 wine supposedly would not touch any part of the actual toilet. It's inside of a bag. Mm -hmm. So like it's sealed in a bag and it's hidden in the toilet. So it's like perfectly fine to like flush the toilet. Are you not going to be like, "Oh no, I flushed the toilet wine." Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can flush it. You can flush the toilet. You just have to make sure you know your bag isn't leaking. You you would probably find out if you saw toilet wine starting to come into your toilet bowl. Hmm. Yeah. But why a toilet out of all places? I mean, you could ferment it somewhere else, or like under the bed or something. Why does it have to be in the toilet? Because that's like the, the least likely place that they would inspect whenever they look through your cell. Oh. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You gotta, you gotta hide things in the toilet. They're definitely gonna look under your bed if you just try hiding it there. But where did they get the, the, like the, the ingredients for toilet wine? Alright, so according to the article... Oh my 
Because <laughs> I found an article of how to make it and I sent uh -huh. it to she because she really wants to try uh -huh. making it. Mm hmm. All right, here, here's what it said, okay? You'll need uh -huh. 10 to 12 oranges, but you can use anything sweet like cake frosting, ketchup, or jelly packets, a can what? of fruit cocktail. <laughs> uh -huh. A packet of dried yeast, but you can use dinner roll or a piece of bread. Three mm -hmm. cups of sugar and a one gallon plastic bag with a seal. That's your ingredients. Where the, where the frick do you get these ingredients when you're in prison? So if you're in, cold, <laughs> if you're in prison, you, you would probably have like a trash bag. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah, and the rest of it you would like st stockpile over time or you'd have like a bunch of people that are working towards making toilet wine so that you can all share. Mhm. Mm so they would help you getting all the all the oranges and and the fruit cocktail. Maybe you got like a a hook up in the kitchen and they can get you a can of fruit uh. cocktail. You know, you pocket one of your <laughs> dinner rolls from uh, from <laughs> from dinner. Man, all the all those efforts just for <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. And it looks really, really gross and unappetizing. Man. I oh, don't apparently it doesn't even taste good. <laughs> I don't want to go to prison. I'm it's... gonna be a good law-abiding citizen. <laughs> you don't ever want to have toilet wine? No. That's a good choice. That's a good choice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It says... Um, you'll have enough toilet wine to make bad choices if you can get past the moldy, rotten flavor. So apparently, it, oh, it's not a it's shit. not a good taste. We should have read this when she was looking at it, but you know what? Mm -hmm. It's a bit late for that. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. It's a bit late for that one. Oh. <laughs> Man. I mean, it's kind of funny how you already talked about toilet wine with G. I didn't expect that you could also talk about it with me. <laughs> hey, look, it's the it's the conversation topic that keeps on giving. <laughs> Lua and Reina well, both avoided toilet wine talk, so they got lucky. Uh huh. Oh man. I'm unlucky then. Or are you very lucky because you get to have a lovely conversation with your wife about toilet wine in the morning after I made you hungry, so now I'm helping you not be hungry again? Yeah, I definitely lost my appetite. <laughs> <laughs> I think I want to go back to sleep and forget about the conversation of toilet wine because I couldn't even... Like, it never... It never once occurred in my mind that that would be possible, you know? Oh, it sure is. It sure is, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, man. What a, what a way, what a blast to celebrate your birthday. With hey. some toilet wine. <laughs> you might wanna, you want, you might wanna add it to your celebration food tonight, you know? No. <laughs> no? Nah, I'm good. Maybe you like to serve some toilet wine to yourself and, you know, have a toast. No, that, that takes a long time. I'm good. I don't, I don't need the toilet wine. <laughs> it takes a long time to ferment oh. toilet wine. I've got, uh, <laughs> I've got good alcohol I if I want could, it. I mean, you could, like, you know, uh, visit person and uh, ask the homies, Hey, may I get a taste of some toilet wine? Some fine toilet wine that you're having? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't, I don't need to try to find anyone making toilet wine. If I wanted to find someone making um, questionable alcohol, it'd be like moonshine around here. I could probably find someone making some moonshine. Mm-hmm. 
but I don't want moonshine. I've got like nice stuff. I could go have some, some, uh, some, some cream rum, uh, drink that tastes like a vanilla mm -hmm. milkshake. That's much better. I have that mm -hmm. in my house. If <laughs> I don't need toilet wine. Oh. <laughs> I don't need toilet wine. Well, I don't know. need moonshine. For the experience. No, Come no, on, no, no, no. no. We're no. It's your birthday. Treat yourself. That's not treating myself. No. See, I was telling chat actually a good treat. Have you ever sludged your Oreos? Uh huh. Like you, you no. get a glass of milk and you get your Oreos and you put your Oreos in your glass of milk and you let it sit there for like twenty to thirty minutes until they all disintegrate in the bottom of the cup. Oh, so you. I, 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 I've never done that. It's so I so like, good. I, I only dip my Oreos for like 10 seconds until it's like soft enough, but not but not too soft enough that they'll, you know, crumble to pieces. Okay, all right. Mm. Think think about your soggy cereal. Yeah, but soggy Oreos. That with Oreos. No, it's not even soggy. It's a sludge at that point. Like you stir it up and you can eat it with the spoon and it's almost like a ice creamless milkshake with the Oreos. Hmm. Well, not not bad. I mean, I like soggy cereal, so I'd probably yeah. You would probably like it. You gotta try it. You gotta try sludging your Oreos. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if this is considered as sludged Oreos, but I did try. You know, crushing a bunch of Oreos in into one bowl and then adding a little bit of milk, and then put them in the freezer for like an entire day. And then bam, I have Oreo ice cream. Oh, was it good? Yeah, that's completely different from sludged Oreos, but yeah, it was so good. Cause I was I was craving some, you know, cookies and cream mm -hmm. ice cream. One but, of the best. You know, I wanted to test my cooking experience. It was really cooking, but I was like, mm, maybe I can make myself some Oreo ice cream. And so I crushed them into little pieces and then added a little bit of milk and then put them in the fridge for 24 hours and then bam, I have ice cream and it tasted really good. It's like really similar to, um, you know, McFlurry's from, uh, McDonald's. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really similar to that. That's interesting. So like, it, it wasn't like icy, crystally or anything? No, 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 it wasn't. It was really as smooth as the ice cream. Huh. I wouldn't have expected that. And you know, normally you put milk in the freezer and it just turns into like a block. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I don't know. But with Oreos, if you crush it enough and then if you mix it, it's going to have like this really um, thick and sticky uh, consistency. Uh, and then so you, you, you sludged it. it. Going to excess <laughs> Yeah, I sludged it, but also froze it in the freezer, and it's really like ice cream. Huh? I'll have to try. It's I'll have perfect. to try freezing some sludged Oreos. Yeah, you definitely have to. It's not going to be like like a blocky solid piece of ice like milk. No, it's going to be like ice cream. All right, all right. We're, I'm gonna have to try it, but you have to try sludging your Oreos without freezing it. Okay, I will. I will. I've probably had sludge cereal. <laughs> if, it's, <laughs> if, it's, if it's not soggy anymore, if it's like in the really sludge state, then I've probably had sludge cereal. Yeah, I, I, would, I would say you've had sludge cereal. <laughs> After you let your yeah. cereal sit for like 30 minutes in the ice. In the ice? In the milk? Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness. <laughs> Man, I have discovered so many new things today and I just woke up. I was I was just expecting to like greet you and then have a little conversation, ask you about your day, ask you about your birthday. But I discovered a few amazing things. Number one, you're an amazing voice actress. I like your old girl, <laughs> your old girl voice. <laughs> Number two, 
I discovered the existence of toilet wine. Number 3, Sludge Oreos. Sound amazing and appetizing. I would like to try it out for myself. <laughs> Gotta sludge those Oreos. I mean, to be fair, you probably should have expected it because of the fact that um, I came on your birthday stream and I immediately decided we were going to discuss the extended lore of production kawaii. <laughs> Yeah, that also happened in like my birthday stream. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't I wasn't expecting you know, we weren't expecting that sort of conversation to like occur in my birthday stream either. <laughs> <laughs> Things just kind of happen where I go. Things just kind of uh, happen. Yeah. They I'm certainly do. I'm more very long. good at that tangent. <laughs> <laughs> That's my superpower. That's your superpower? Oh my god. You're not only not only a healing goddess, but you're also a tangent goddess. Mm-hmm. 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 Amazing. I admire you so much. <laughs> Aw shucks. <laughs> Aw shucks. Aw shucks. <laughs> Why? The two tangent queens. Yeah, Isla's good at tangents too. Yeah, yeah. It's so weird. I, I don't. You probably didn't catch this because you were already streaming at that point. But I have this. I had a story about 2012 last night. I was not expecting to like share it last night. It was just a really random gorilla stream, but I wasn't expecting to like share my emotional story of 2012. And I don't think you have heard it because you were streaming as well. But it went something like, um, you know how 2012 people were saying, oh, the the Earth's gonna end, the world's gonna end. Mm -hmm. And there was even like a movie yeah. about how the world will end. And I actually believed that. And I was counting down my days. I literally had like this uh, app in my like really old smartphone i had this app that's you know reminding me of how many days left until december 21 and every night i couldn't sleep thinking about how my days are numbered <laughs> how much days i have left on earth and i i was considering like buying sleeping pills so that I would have a painless death like I would consume all those sleeping pills before before the earth ends because uh, I was so afraid I was so scared I even avoided the 2012 film I was like no no fuck no I'm not watching that <laughs> oh my god I love <laughs> I literally believed it. And I was trying to convince myself. I was trying so hard to convince myself that it's not true. I would search the internet every day. I would Google search every day. 2012 is not real. 2012 is a scam. 2012 is a hoax. 2012 is only for believers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. God. Yeah, no, we lived. 2012. Uh... <laughs> It continued on. We survived. We sure did. <laughs> we sure did. They're telling me to ask you about Burger King. Oh god. Well, you know, 2012, I was someone being scared of 2012, being scared about the end of the world. And so I was at Burger King one day with the burger in hand, just enjoying the burger. Mm hmm And then there, the radio plays and they were like, this next song is 2012 by Jay Sean. And I'm like, oh god. And then the lyrics went like, party like, like it's the end of the world. We're gonna party like, like it's 2012. And I was shitting my pants in Burger King. I'm like, why are you so happy about the end of the world? How could you make a song like this? I was so close to crying my fucking eyes out. I had tears and my, I was just eating my burger. <laughs> like imagine Anila just sitting alone in Burger King with a burger and then 
holding back her tears as the song 2012 plays. Oh no, I love. <laughs> Reminded, it reminded me of how much days we have left on Earth on 2012. And I'm like, no, no, I don't want to die. <laughs> that's that's unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. But the image of someone sitting crying over a Burger King burger at the Burger King <laughs> is really something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I, that feels like a really, you really got to be going through it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was kind of funny because if the, if the staff, the employees were to see me, they would probably be like, "Oh, this girl is enjoying her burger so much to the point where she's crying because it's so good." I don't think they would think that. I don't think they would think that. They probably yeah. think that they're you just had something wrong with you, and they're they're just gonna ignore it. They would be like, uh, someone's having a moment in the front dining room. <laughs> they would just be like, uh, another Tuesday, another whatever sort of day. People are weird <laughs> out in public sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Probably yeah, think probably you had a bad breakup or something. Yeah, I didn't want to make them think that. I didn't want to gather some attention because I was just alone and crying. So they would have like a lot of ideas as to what happened to me. So I was just trying my best to hold back my tears. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If anyone saw you, all you needed to do was give like a, a thumbs up. <laughs> I wouldn't do that because everything's I know that good. Oh, we're all gonna die. <laughs> Yeah, but you you don't want them to question what what's wrong. So you just you you know you give your give a good thumbs up through all your tears, and they'll just be like, "All right, she's good, she's good. <laughs> Everything's <Okay>. fine here." <laughs> she gave the thumbs up. <laughs> Nothing could be wrong. Nothing could be wrong. I could be giving like a thumbs up and like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> This this burger, this Wilbur is buzzing. <laughs> Shooketh out of out of my body. My soul is leaving. <laughs> this burger so good. So good. <laughs> so good. Nothing more, nothing less. <laughs> well hey, we didn't die in twenty twelve and that's great, because now we're here in uh that would be very unfortunate if we did, because I wouldn't know I'll... <laughs> we could not be wives. <laughs> we would not be here in our extended uh, kawaii universe lore of being summoned to this world. Yeah. Yeah, the 2012... Imagine if the 2012 didn't happen because kawaii was supposed to happen eight years later. You know, I would believe Wait, it. No. Nine. Yeah, whatever yeah. number. Yeah, math. Math and yeah, years and age and uh, it's too much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, RCO stopped 2012 just so we can meet in 2021. He's very powerful. Please understand. Kenoshita, very powerful. <laughs> <laughs> we have new information on the Kawaii Extended Lore. Mm hmm, mm hmm. We, uh, stopped the 2012 apocalypse. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you, Kinosha. Thank you. I owe you. I owe you a Burger King burger. A Burger King burger. Is it gonna be salted with tears, or...? <laughs> <laughs> tears of joy, that is. Because we're alive, baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. Perfect. Oh man. Oh man. Wait, let me just stretch. Oh. Yeah, get that stretch in. Yeah, I'm still in bed. How many how many minutes have I been talking to you? I don't even remember what time I dropped by. I don't either. That's a great question. How long have you been here? I don't remember. I don't either. We've just been hanging, I we've don't been remember. chilling. 
it's not even morning anymore. It's like noon. It's like afternoon, and I'm still not up. Oh, uh, I think it's. Wait, has it really been? So you sent the message about like, oh, I just woke up. Where are you? At like 39, right? And then it was a few more minutes. So it's been. Uh, like 40 minutes? Like 40, yeah, like 45 minutes-ish. It does not feel like that much time has come by. What? Really? <laughs> We've just been shooting the shit. <laughs> Man. Well, I feel like I've stayed for too long, so... And I'm also gonna finally get out of bed and eat breakfast and just memory hole burn the memory of toilet wine in my memory mm -hmm, before yeah. I eat. Yeah, just forget it. So, <laughs> forget the forget the toilet wine. It's better that way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's not mention it anymore. Yeah. Let's forget that. Yeah. That Have good thing. breakfast instead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, happy birthday, Nolly Wai! Yay! Yay! Thank you! Thank you for coming by, Ella. It was a very, very good time talking with you. Yeah, <laughs> it was. <laughs> I'm so happy to start my day with Nolly birthday. Woo! Woo <laughs> now you've got a, a good start to your day. The rest of the day has to go good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> ah, so happy birthday, Nomi. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. You too. Have a have a good day, Isla. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Bye. Uh, bye. Bye bye. Uh, bye bye. Bye chat. Yeah, bye chat. <laughs> <laughs> Not for me. <laughs> Bye, Nami. Bye. I love you. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. She's so cute. All right, Windows Vista. Thank you for becoming a chosen hero. Thank you, thank you. I saw it earlier. I didn't want to forget. And Nina, Nina, hi. Thank you, thank you, Nina. I saw the talk of like the Y2K. Actually, things could have gone bad in Y2K, but like a lot of people worked a lot of hours to make sure it didn't go bad. So everyone just thinks that nothing happened. But like people put it, people put in the work to make sure that nothing would happen with Y2K. So you just got home from work. <laughs> you don't like tonight. Ugh, 6 a.m. starts gross. Gross. What a bad, bad time to have to be awake and functional. I woke up at 6 a.m. this morning, but we're not going to talk about that. I didn't have to be awake at 6 a.m. Yeah, people clutch Y2K, but I do finish midday. Yeah, that's the better part of it. But then you still have to be awake at 6 a.m. Gotta be up at 6 a.m. And that's never a win. Never a win. But yeah, Y2K was like... Because computers ran only on... The two-digit... Year... Uh, computation system. Because they were like, why would we need to worry about having all four digits of the year? So they had to like work overtime to switch systems over to a four-digit year system. And apparently there's another issue that'll crop up, like, way down the line. I think, like, 40 years from now or something, where we're going to run into an issue with um, Linux systems in the way that they parse uh, time and dates with, with their particular system. So that's fun, but we know about it, so... Oh, 2038? Oh, okay. So that's sooner than I thought. For some reason, I thought it was like 2060-something. Yeah, that one's the Linux issue. The Linux time problem. Thought you would say the year <laughs> 10,000? No. 
been to the year 10,000 Not much has changed, but we lived underwater <laughs> And my great 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 granddaughter Is doing fine, doing fine <laughs> The old Jonas Brothers song Been to the year to the year 10,000 <laughs> Why do I remember so much of that? Saw a really good documentary about it. Prost all the effort they did. Part of me is unsure something of that measure could be replicated today. It absolutely could be. Got enough people. Hands on deck. Number of seconds sticks back over to zero because of 32-bit counter. Yeah, yeah. They're gonna have to do something about that. Linux systems. Get it sorted. But they know very well ahead of time right now. So... Hopefully they're working on a solution for that. <laughs> Hopefully there's a solution in the works. Oh, my lip balm. Making fun noises. It's running out. I need to order more. But it's... Kind of high-priced lip balm. It's like $15 for a tube. It's good stuff, but my god, is it expensive. My god, is it expensive. Mm. Happy birthday! Thank you! Thank you so much! The shopping stream, let's go! No, not right now. Eventually, someday, I'll buy more. Is it flavor? Yeah, it has a flavor. It tastes or smells like pear. It smells like pear. Fifteen bucks for something you can eat in one bite? No. No. <laughs> I have one that is lemon and one that is pear. And I alternate them because they're for different purposes of lip balm. Came in late, it seems. Oh, you're fine. You're fine. It's good lip balm. Uh, they, uh, the, the pear one can also be used for, like, different spots on your skin, not just your lips. So if you have, like, really dry elbows, it's good for that. This is this nice, thick balm. So it really locks the moisture in and provides the moisture for a long time. I do recommend it. I would have to say... <laughs> I would have to say what it is, though, to recommend it. So I guess I'll show you. Lip balm for your elbows? Yeah, because it's not specifically lip balm. It's a multi-balm. It's a multi-balm. It's, it's what they call their 101 ointment. It's a multi-balm, but I use it for my lip balm. Happy birthday! I'm not late in the slightest. No, you're perfectly on time. Thank you for coming by and thank you, thank you for those well wishes. Love and use body cream that smells like coconut. This brand, I think, has a coconut. I just like the, the, the pear. I like the pear. Get off my screen. Thank you. Okay, let's open this image. Yeah, they've got a coconut version. I'll show you, I'll show you, I'll show you. It's expensive. But it's worth the price. It's good stuff. So this... This is what I, I, I had the multi-balm in. Elena Lips. Good brand. Good brand. Consider the coconut. Consider the leaf. Island gives us what we need. So I have the green one over here. The pear? I like it. I like the pear. But it's a multi-bomb, so you can use that on your lips or on like your skin. Um, I only use it on my lips. Happy birthday, my favorite giggle healer! I personally prefer Nutter Butters over Oreos. I love Nutter Butters. But I like to suggest leveling up your dairy game. I found out using... Half and half or even better, heavy slash whipping cream makes cookies dissolve even faster. Please enjoy that. 
is an interesting tip. I'll have to try that. I'll have to try that. Thank you so much for that. Better late than never. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. My brain demands I say that anytime coconut is mentioned. It's I love I love that song. I agree. It should be said. So that's my like normal lip balm. And then I also have the lemon from them. This one. It's called the Lemon Aid Lip Treatment. So I also have, whoa, I also have this one from them because it has um, like exfoliate, not really exfoliant, but like, I guess, yeah, it's like a light chemical exfoliation. <laughs> so whenever your lips are really, really dry, you can use that one and it'll help uh, get rid of some of the, the dead skin on your lips. So I have both of those and I use those all the time. I'll switch them out and I always make sure to put on some before I go to sleep because that is very important. If you want to wake up and have your lips be nice, be nice through the day, uh, put on lip balm before you sleep and like a nice thick lip balm like these are and your lips will feel so, so, so much better throughout the whole day the next day. That's another thing if you ever like have dry spots that you're trying to moisturize, Put a whole bunch of moisturizer on it at night before you go to bed, and it'll be much better the next day. It doesn't it, it's a lot better the next day. That's why they also have like gloves and socks that you can get that are specifically for like putting lotion on, so you can really put a bunch of lotion on and then put those gloves or socks on while you sleep. And I'm starting to sweat. Oh my god, the heater turned on. <laughs> the heater turned on. Yeah, vitamin E is great. Men's products. I mean, I think they have an unscented version of the of the multi bomb, the multi ointment. Let's look. Fill a sleeping bag with lotion and sleeping that. Ew. <laughs> that sounds gross. Squishy lotion socks sound gross. Yeah, you only put it on once you're like getting into bed. Yeah, so they have a, a version of the, the 101 multi-purpose super balm, the one that I have in pair, that's like not scented or anything. It's just normal. It's just normal. But like I said, these these are expensive lip balms. Very good. Very expensive. The lemonade one is like $16 in the 101 ointment, the multi-bombs, like the pear one, is like $14. They're not cheap, but they do last a long time. They do last a very long time. I love if you did a stream talking about stuff like this. I still remember your talk regarding stuff like head and shoulders. Just like self-care. <laughs> How to take care of your body. <laughs> Drink lots of water. That's the most important thing. Your hydration and moisture starts within and then goes out. Like if you ever see people buy a whole bunch of like products for their skin, but they don't drink enough water, they're basically wasting their money. They're basically wasting their money if you buy a whole bunch of stuff for your skin, but you don't bother to actually make sure you drink enough water to be properly hydrated. Because you can put a whole bunch of crap on the outside of your body but you're actively fighting against yourself if you're not hydrating enough. Cause hydration is like the most important thing, especially for your skin, especially for your skin. That's the easiest way to make your skin better. This dream is still alive. Yeah, I have a disease where I, <laughs> I just keep streaming. And only drink so much at once. You need the moisturizer. You gotta drink like over the day. Sweat. Yeah, sweating is actually pretty good for you. That's why exercise is good for you, too. Not just the sweat, but you know, sweating is a good part of exercising. 
The never ending Nami. <laughs> that movie is okay. It's okay. Nami doesn't know how to stream in moderation. What's that? What what's a, what's moderation in stream? Just okay? Yeah, it's okay. It doesn't really hold up very well now. But it's not bad. It's certainly not bad. It just doesn't hold up, like, super great. Personally, I'd rather watch, like, The Dark Crystal. Or Legend. Than The NeverEnding Story. That's my opinion. <laughs> That's what I'm about. Especially Legend. I love Legend. Still need that Zoolander. <laughs> Watch along. Oh, Zoolander. Love your birthday is shining as bright as you are. It's been fun. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Dark Crystal is a masterpiece to me. I love the Dark Crystal. It's great. I haven't watched the, the show of it. I don't really care to watch the show of it. Where's the old man? Probably sleeping by now. He popped in this morning. He's allowed. And I talk to the old man all the time. It's fine. He doesn't have to make public appearances. <laughs> Never actually seen Zoomlander? It's stupid. I was thinking about it because I was looking at it earlier, but you guys know that, um... That meme that I said, like, a friend had made for the twist... For the twist, um... Classroom stream? The, the Good Place one, where OBS kept giving me Riddle as Janice giving Cactus? The old man actually made that meme. The old man made that meme. <laughs> but he was embarrassed about posting it, so I posted it. Because it was a good meme. And I wanted to make sure people saw it. Yeah, for real, he made that meme. <laughs> old man kind of cute. Yeah, he's precious. He's easily embarrassed. He'd be so embarrassed if he were here right now listening to me, uh, say these things. <laughs> He'd be so embarrassed right now. What a nice guy. Yeah, he says he listens to, like, the VODs all the time while he's at work. <laughs> he doesn't get to be here very often for the streams because they're during his work day, but he listens to VODs and stuff at work all the time. And sometimes he'll listen to the live streams while he's at work and he'll comment about them, like, to me. <laughs> he's just busy. He's a busy old man. I'm the cat boy. Busy, busy people. But that's okay. That's okay. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, they're good friends. They're good, they're good friends. That's a good thing that came out of 14. I met, I met the old man and the cat boy through playing Final Fantasy 14. <laughs> and now they're my best friends. Now they're my best friends. That is sweet, isn't it? I met him like right at the tail end of going through a Realm Reborn and like we, we, me and the old man were at the same place essentially in a Realm Reborn so we both finished it up at the same time. I was like, this is much better. <laughs> this is much better having new friends that are actually in like the same spot I am. They made me appreciate 14 a lot more than I was before. I was just kind of going through the motions because people wanted me to play. My other friends wanted me to play and I was like, ugh. <laughs> I guess. I guess. And then I met the old man, the cat boy, and I was like, ah, oh, wait, this game pretty cool. <laughs> 
This game's pretty cool with these guys. Definitely meet good people through online communities, for sure. I mean, I'm sure a lot of you have made some really nice friendships just in our, in our shared little kawaii community. I see you guys hang out and stuff when not in chat, and I think that's great. I'm glad you guys, like, spend time together and like each other as people. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Who? Oh. Absolutely not. I can't stand these people. Yeah, who who is who are these people? Who are these people? You hate everyone? Damn. <laughs> How do you know we hang out outside of streams? I no one has to be a mole for me to be like, yeah, I know you guys are definitely hanging out outside of streams. You have a whole fan Discord. Don't act like like it's some secret that you talk outside of streams. It's not like you guys are all just in there saying nothing. <laughs> you all sit in the Discord and you don't say anything at all. You don't say anything at all. We exist outside of stream spaces? Yeah, yeah. You also exist uh, on Twitter. On, on the Twitter. That bird app. Just because our Discord doesn't qualify how much we let us spend, <laughs> spend loving on each other. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. <laughs> yeah, that blue bird thing. Being given private info? I'm not being given anything. I'm just assuming. You're just confirming. You're selling yourself out. You're selling yourself out right now, saying that I've got private information. I just assumed. And you confirmed it. <laughs> Very suspicious. What makes you think I have time to look after you guys in my... <laughs> what makes you think I have time to, to be poking in on you guys? Play cool she doesn't know about the makeout sessions. Nice job, dirty detective. Yeah, that's right. I got you. I got you guys. I got you guys. I see you. You don't, but old man can. Old man doesn't tell me shit. <laughs> old man doesn't tell me shit about the Discord. He said that you guys said not to tell me, and, I, and, he, and he took that to heart. I don't know how often he even looks into it. Think people flirt in chat, you'd be surprised how much worse they can get. You gotta kiss your homies goodnight, though. <laughs> assassins? I don't have any assassins. I don't need assassins. Maybe because he's scared of what goes on in there? Nah. He's just a busy old man. He's just a busy old man. He's got things to do. Taxes to file, you know, old man things. Old man things. Every opportunity you get. <laughs> Homie's gotta. Oh god, no, don't start that. Don't start that. <laughs> old man, my beloved. I'll have to pass on all your, your, uh, adulations to the old man. Be like, hey, it was my birthday, but everyone was like, where's the old man? Where's the old man? Hey, Nami, the old man, where is he? <laughs> Yeah, files to tax and tiles to fax. <laughs> At least say it with some happiness. Stop being so jealous. No, I like it. I like that you guys uh, <laughs> are nice to him. Only elderly person I like to retire into the night with. <laughs> That's like I was thinking about like... 
I know it's it's kind of a common thing for like people to be like, oh, you cheater. I don't know. I I get like people <laughs> people have fun with that and joke about it, but man, I could never, I could never use that. I feel bad if I actually were were to say someone was a cheater for watching other people. That's I feel bad. I feel like I'm pressuring people about where to spend their time. Because your, your time is valuable and you should decide where to spend it. And I appreciate the fact that you ever decide to spend it here with me. And that's great. That's great. I think my cheating days are over after today. <laughs> Yeah, I guess some people are like really tongue in cheek with it and joke about it, but like I, I couldn't even, I couldn't even joke with it. I don't like it. Uh, I don't, I don't like the the idea of like what it does to viewers. Not making it into something that it's not. Yeah, yeah. Definitely my favorite torture spot. <laughs> The chains tell a different story. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. What are you what are you saying here? Hi, it's my other wives. You can have them. <laughs> you can have them. <laughs> That's okay. That's alright. I've got no problem with you guys spreading your love around and giving other people attention. Everyone's out there doing their best. Everyone's out there doing their best. So I'd hope that they get support. Definitely creates a work perspective of the person isn't independent thinking enough. Mm, yeah, I think, I think like... I definitely think it's fine, like as a jokey thing. But there are definitely people that can take it the wrong way and too seriously. <laughs> and that's where it's like, oh, maybe we should think a little harder about some of these things that we do with, with, our, with our chat. Got a ton of love to give. It'd be too much for one individual, you know? That's what we like to hear. Spread it. Spread that love around. Spread that love around. Make sure people are are well supported, are well loved. But that's too serious. <laughs> that's too serious. <laughs> too serious of a conversation. Something else, something else. <laughs> something else. Doesn't help that each of the girls' chats are just so cute. I mean, how are you supposed to not uh, be all over each other, am I right? <laughs> Happy birthday, thank you! Thank you so much! Yeah, that's one of the- that's one of the things that, like... Something I think about at night, I'm like... I get other people are, are okay with it. And like they vibe with it and they and they have fun with it, but I'm like, I could I just couldn't. I just couldn't. <laughs> I just couldn't. Not knocking anyone else doing it, but I, I I couldn't. I would feel bad. My perfect birthday dinner or lunch for my birthday. Uh let me just say birthday twice there. Um hmm. Hmm. That's a good question. Probably a whole bunch of yellowtail sashimi. That's one of my favorite, favorite foods. Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese is always a classic, but yellowtail sashimi is like one of my, my very favorite things to eat. And then maybe some creme brulee. Totally not a good combo, but I would love to have creme brulee because it's my favorite dessert. It's my favorite dessert in the world. I love creme brulee. It is followed up only by tiramisu. 
I love tiramisu. And that's a lot easier to get your hands on than creme brulee. You feel left out. Aww. <laughs> Someone hold TNT's hand. <laughs> Someone hold TNT's hand. A sucker for brunch. Brunch is great. Brunch is an anytime meal. Sticky date pudding? I've not had it. That sounds good. A good tiramisu is perfect. I love tiramisu. It's so good. It's so good. There was a coworker that I had at my last job that uh, baked and like brought delicious tiramisu and I was like, oh my god, this is perfect. Thank you for sharing. Like they, they found me and made sure that I got some of the tiramisu because they knew I loved tiramisu. They were like, hey, I brought some stuff. And I was like, oh my god, thank you. <laughs> Pretty much everyone at, at my last job knew that I have a major sweet tooth. I have a major sweet tooth. If it's something sweet, I will probably eat it. I'll probably eat it. Do you enjoy a nice cup of dark roast with it? I don't drink coffee. I don't drink coffee. Unless it's like heavily, heavily creamed because uh, I can't deal with the tannins from coffee. It's, it's too acidic and bitter in my mouth. I'm not much of one for putting like a bunch of sugar in coffee, but if it, if there's enough cream in coffee, then I'll drink it. I'll drink it then, because then it's not like really acidic. That dessert would be the exception. Mm -mm. No, I just, I don't, I don't drink coffee in general. Ever had chocolate pavé? I have not. I have not. Can't really stand the taste of coffee, but I can see why others might drink it. There's some coffee that smells really, really good, and then it doesn't taste as good as it smells. But I also have the the issue with I I think I'm just like more sensitive to tannins, which is what makes coffee bitter. Um, so for me, like coffee tastes really, really acidic. Like a lot of times, if I were to drink a black coffee, for me, it'd be like biting into a raw white onion, sort of acidic for me. So I always have to have cream in my coffee or it's basically undrinkable because it's just that acidic for me. part of like um the reason that you pair reds with fatty meats like like red wines with fatty meats like steak is because the fat from the steak adheres to your to the taste buds and then whenever you drink the wine it attaches to the tannins so the wine isn't as bitter the wine's not as bitter or acidic that's why you have it with fatty meats Pretty strong taste image, can feel the acidity already. Yeah, yeah. There was this creme brulee coffee that I was going to have once and I was really excited about it. And I was like, oh my gosh, creme brulee coffee, that sounds great. And then I tasted it and it was, all I could taste was acid. All I could taste was acid. It was terrible. I was like, I don't know if this coffee is just actually garbage or, <laughs> or what. But I was so let down because I was like, oh, creme brulee coffee, that sounds great. It wasn't. It was not great. I was sorely disappointed. Nami knowledge. Yeah, completely useless things. Completely useless things to know. Doesn't sound like good coffee. Uh, it might have been to other people. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It wasn't very good. It was not very good to me. Ever tasted that whipped coffee thing? I have not. I have not. Actually, I find that mm, instant coffees aren't as bad. For whatever reason, instant coffees aren't as bad, like, acidity-wise. And I wonder why that is. Maybe because it's already, like, processed? Coffee you should get are those on the darker side. Like I said, if I put cream in the coffee, it's totally fine. I don't really have much of a taste or desire to have black coffee. Um, my mom's a black coffee drinker. She loves black coffee. 
But me, like, I like, I like cream. I like cream. <laughs> I like cream in my coffee. It tastes good. It makes things better. Don't like the acid feel, so I resort to tea instead. Yeah, I like tea. I love tea. I actually used to not like tea because, um... The only option pretty much for most of my life with tea was like having it iced and sweet or unsweet and I don't like iced tea. Uh, so it wasn't until I, I was old enough to like actually try hot tea of my own volition that I was like, wait, tea is good. <laughs> tea is good. What the heck? So, no, I hate iced tea. There's only been like two or three uh, types of tea that I've had iced that I like, but I don't like iced tea. I think a lot of the issues with iced tea is um, people tend to steep it like really, really hard or they'll boil it. They'll boil it and it makes the tea really bitter because people don't prepare iced tea properly. They're just like, yeah, make a whole bunch of it real quick and then put ice in it. Make it really strong because you're putting ice in it and they just treat the tea dirty. They treat it badly. Remember when I was little, I still thought cream was just tea or milk. <laughs> so whenever I went to a, like a restaurant, I just drink from those little packets. Cream is delicious. <laughs> don't like tea? It just tastes like dirty water to me. I like iced tea with whiskey though. Oh, now that's actually dirty tea. Preparation is important. Yeah, it's super important. People treat tea so poorly. Imagine Nami being like, yo, what if I heat this up? No, no, I knew about it because, um... I, I would read a lot of, like, books and stuff. Or watch foreign media where they are... Where they would have hot tea. Like, if you watch a lot of British shows when you grow up, you're like, ah, oh, hot tea. That looks... That looks like a, a, a good way to have that. You know, British shows, anime where they're having hot tea, you're like, hey, what's this hot tea? What's this hot tea about? And then you finally have it and you're like, oh shit, hot tea good. <laughs> hot tea good. <laughs> so I have a whole, whole, whole bunch of hot tea that I, or a whole bunch of tea that I buy now and I have it hot. I love having hot tea. I'm, I'm pretty fond of having like a nice cup of warm water too. I love warm water. Microwaving tea? I have no problem with if you need to microwave your water. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna shame you for it, but I do have a kettle. I do have a water kettle. It'd be like that sometimes. I've got no problem with you microwaving your water. <laughs> Reminds me of that one time when I traveled abroad, I tried every tea sample they offered to me and my mom tried to stop me, but I kept going. Go tea, 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 have it all, have it all. Peppermint, I love peppermint tea. Peppermint's very good, but my favorite tea that I have that's like easy to get my hands on is a spearmint tea. Spearmint tea's good. A hot tea. <laughs> Yeah, I like them hotties. 10 plus samples. Oh my gosh. Warm, like lukewarm or hot? Like, uh, heat up water as if you were going to, to have like a hot drink. That sort of hot. So like the same sort of temperatures you would have like tea or coffee. It's quite good. It's quite good if you have hot water before you go to bed. It's, co it's like the same sort of feeling as having warm milk. You know, and they say that having warm milk helps you fall asleep. And I think it's just the, the sensation of having like a nice, warm, comforting beverage before bed. So hot water does the same sort of thing. I'll shame them for you. Look, man, microwaves are there. I don't think there's anything wrong with microwaving your water. <laughs> I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Kettle gang, yeah. I use my kettle like every day. Definitely have phases where just hot water is nice. Just never understood why. It's it's very nice. It's very nice. Hot water or like warm water is very good for your throat and your voice too. Imagine being bougie and have a kettle, right? <laughs> 
expected a worse reaction, not a tea drinker. I think, like, don't... Honestly, like, if my tea gets cold, I'm microwaving it. So what's the difference between me warming up tea again in the microwave and someone microwaving their water in the first place for their tea? I don't get the snobbery about microwaving water. <laughs> I don't get it. It gets the job done. Who are we to blame or, or point fingers or judge people? If you want to judge someone for microwaving their water, buy them a kettle. You sort their situation out for them. Or you just deal with the fact that the tea is now hot. Do you like sweet iced tea? I do not. I do not. I once went on a tea spree in Singapore. I drank so much in one day. All I could taste for the rest of the day was tea. That doesn't sound bad. <laughs> Licorice teas can be pretty calming at times too. Ew. Oh, the throat cold? Yeah, I've seen that one. Make sure to add tea if Googling that. That sounds like a good piece of advice. Yeah, I don't really like licorice, but uh, I have seen the throat coat tea. Microwave my water and I'm okay with it. Yeah, that's right. As long as you're okay with it and it gets hot and you use it, who cares? I think the main issue with, with um, microwaving water is that I find that when you microwave like a mug of water for tea or something, it does tend to go colder faster. But I think that's just because you're not heating it up to boiling and then letting it come down. Um, by the way, don't steep tea, especially black tea, with actually boiling water. Don't use water at the boiling point for your tea. Let it come down from the boiling point for a little bit because otherwise you're gonna scorch your tea leaves and they're gonna be gross and bitter. You're going to be gross and bitter. Don't do that. You're going to have bad tea. And never squeeze your tea either. Don't do that. You're going to have bad tea. <laughs> Microwaving water for tea is so easy. It is. It is. Heat is heat. It's true. Would you recommend drinking more warm or cooler water? I just tend to drink cool water since I'm getting it from my fridge. Uh, I think, you know... Try a, a try a cup of, of warm water, you know? Try a cup of like warm or hot water. Usually when I've had like a cup of hot water, I've popped it into the microwave. I'm not gonna bother waiting on my kettle for a cup of hot water. Don't squeeze the bag. Yeah, no, 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 no. Don't squeeze the bag. That's that's bad. That's bad. That's another way to like get all the bitter into your tea because you're abusing the leaves, you're bruising them. So you're gonna fuck up the flavor of your tea. You're not getting more flavor, just let it steep longer. That's how you actually get more flavor, you let it steep longer. And if it if it's not enough flavor then, like if you, you still don't have enough flavor, then you're not using enough tea for the amount of water. There are a lot of tea bags that are only like meant for six ounces of water and then people will put them in a giant mug and be like, oh, I need to squeeze my tea. No, you don't, use more tea. Use two bags in that case. Don't squeeze your tea bag. <laughs> Don't squeeze your tea bag. It's bad. <laughs> it's bad. Sun tea? I've not made sun tea, but you gotta wait a long time for that one. I might go my water and that stuff started glowing. <laughs> not had tea for a hot minute. I love tea. Tea's great. Learning all about tea now? Yeah. Welcome to my tea class. Tone of voice sounded like that South Park ski instructor. If you don't pizza before you french fry, you're gonna have a bad time. <laughs> <laughs> Microwaving water, sometimes the water isn't consistently hot for me. Sometimes I get cold spots where only some of it is warm. But like, it is lazy and easy. It is, it is. I dislike bitter coffees, but I found two non-bitter coffees. Jamaican Blue Mountain, very nice and very expensive. And Yemeni Mocha. I drink it most days, but it has to be coarse ground, made in a french press. I use beet sugar and cream. It's so delicious. Oh, thank you for that. Better late than never. Thank you. Thank you. That's some good information. I, I also typically don't like having coffee because the amount of caffeine in it tends to uh, mess with my anxiety and it makes me like feel jittery. 
and weird. But, um, most teas don't have enough caffeine that it bothers me. Lukewarm water is supposedly good for the throat? It is. It's very good for the throat. Use more bags of tea or less water. Exactly! Exactly. Don't squeeze the bag. <laughs> Don't squeeze the bag. I used to use pretty much exclusively loose leaf tea, but I am so lazy. I just started buying bags again. Having to clean out a tea strainer all the time whenever you make tea is kind of a hassle. It's very annoying, but I did have a very cute one that looked like an octopus. So that was that was cool. To be honest, I just make my tea in the microwave and slap it in a big picture. You know what? If you're happy with your tea that way, I guess I can't say anything. Sometimes I let some green tea bags in a huge water bottle for easy cold tea. Yeah, yeah, you can cold brew your tea. If you really want to have iced tea, you can cold brew your tea just like you can cold brew coffee. Now I know not to squeeze the more you know. Thanks, Nami. You're welcome. <laughs> Don't squeeze your tea. <laughs> Guilty of giving a hard squeeze. Don't do that. Don't do that. I got tired of cleaning out the teapot because I didn't have a strainer. Yeah, I have a few teapots. I have a, two, uh, a, a few teapots. I like them. I like collecting them. I have one that my brother got me for Christmas one year. It's really cool. It's like... Made by a small artist. Um, and it has skulls all over it, and it has this really cool, like, drippy glaze from the top of it. I love it. It's so, so cool. But I don't, like, get the chance to use my teapots much now. Because they just take up a lot of space, so they're... They're out of the way at the moment. They're in... They're basically in storage. So I usually just make the one cup. Just the one cup. Isn't tea more caffeinated than coffee? It depends on the type of tea. If you drink a lot of herbal teas, then no. I drink a lot of uh, non-caffeinated herbal teas. Because caffeine's uh, not very good for me. I wouldn't keep cleaning a strainer either. It's, it's, yeah, it's annoying. You don't tear the, the bags open and pour them in? No. <laughs> Great for Tassio, Mancy. Terrible for drinking tea. The video of good teapots and how the liquid pours out is crazy. I I know the value of good teapots. Actually, I got a teapot. It was really cute. It had it. Okay, I like novelty teapots to say. I like novelty teapots. So ones that look silly, <laughs> or not like a normal teapot. So my first one that I bought was actually at a thrift store. And it looks like a big flower, and like the handle's a vine, and it's really cute. And whenever I got it, and I opened it, I like I got it home, I opened it, because it was taped closed at the thrift store to make sure that it wouldn't like knock around. I opened it, and there's a bag of like random cookies in a Ziploc inside of the teapot. And I was like... What? <laughs> I threw those away. They seem dangerous. I, or they probably weren't dangerous. They pro like someone just forgot that they had cookies stored inside of it. But I threw it away. I was like, I don't know anything about these cookies. They're not in a package. They're in a Ziploc bag. I don't know how old they are. I, I don't know the story with these cookies. <laughs> I don't know the story with these cookies in my $4 teapot. I'm not gonna... I'm not about it. I'm not about it. <laughs> Those cookies try their best. I don't know, man. I think someone was like using the teapot basically as a cookie jar, and I was like, mm, no thanks on the mystery cookies. I'm good. Ziploc bag full of spaghetti at a bus station? What? Burly, are you on my, my pillow? Are you enjoying my pillow? When I go to bed, are you gonna let me use it? She's like directly on my pillow, just fully on my pillow. 
Come on, live a little. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Not that kind of life. Just you want to know a good place to get tea. Uh, hashtag not sponsored. Just shilling the place that I really like the tea of. Uh, Republic of Tea. Republic of Tea is my favorite place to get tea from. And there, they have some amazing, amazing teas. Lots of different flavors. Um, one of the very, very few, like, teas that I like having iced is from the Republic of Tea. It's the Blackberry Sage Tea. That one was really good iced. Yeah, I love the Republic of Tea. They're really cheap, really good. Very, very good stuff. I love the, um... Like, one of my favorite teas from them right now is the, the chocolate, uh, the strawberry chocolate tea that they have. Oh, that stuff is so good. So, so good. And it's an herbal tea, so it has no, uh, caffeine. Which, on the, on the Republic of Tea... They have this handy dandy caffeine, uh, chart. Those kind of flavor- tea flavors? Yeah! Yeah, yeah, there's so many good teas. There's so many good types of tea out there. You guys just don't know. Yeah, red tea has no caffeine. I have a red tea. It's a vanilla red tea. It's very good. So here you go. For the person that thought, uh... Tea has more caffeine than coffee. No. Here's your caffeine index. Coffee is well above black tea for the for the amount per a six ounce cup. So if you don't react well to caffeine, uh, tea is much better for you than coffee if you want to have something with a little bit of caffeine. Like black tea is does not affect me whatsoever with like negative caffeine. Uh, impact. A tea that tastes like smoky sesame? I do not, but you could probably find one. Yeah, coffee has a ton of caffeine. And it's very easy to get a caffeine dependency. And you don't want that. <laughs> you don't want that. Got me about to make tea now for the first time in months. Have a good bag of tea. Have a good cuppa. A good cuppa. But yeah, there you could just like look at the Republic of Tea all day and just see tons and tons and tons of flavors. Oh shit. Had such a tea at a tonkatsu place once and never had it again. Oh. I was convinced the cooking oil splattered into the tea. Who knows? How much does a can of soda have compared to a coffee? I think that depends on the soda. You would have to you'd have to look that up per soda. Her caffeine dependency can give you headaches. It can. That is a very very common uh, effect of caffeine dependency. Is you'll have wicked bad headaches from not having caffeine. It almost sounded like a gong. Yeah, that was me accidentally hitting my <laughs> my pop filter. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm a little clumsy with my mic. Dong. But you can get like a ton of tea. Like in my in my favorite tea from from Republic of Tea, you can buy 250 bags <laughs> in bulk. It's 75 dollars, but. You can get 250 tea bags. That is something to be aware of though with the Republic of Tea is that their tea bags are made for six ounce cups of tea, which is smaller than your standard mug. It is the size of your standard teacup. So if you make it in a standard mug, don't fill it up all the way or else you're gonna have weak tea. Or you'll need to use two tea bags if you wanna have it in like a big mug. I'll do that whenever I, I wanna have like a big, big mug. 24 to 46 milligrams for soda, and 95 to 165 milligrams for coffee. Woof. A woof. Do 
Drank a lot of white Russians for a while and got the caffeine withdrawal headaches when I stopped. Would not recommend. Yeah. Yeah. Caffeine withdrawal headaches are really, really bad. Thirty-five milligrams for the average green tea. Yeah, tea overall has a lot less caffeine than it. Has a lot less caffeine, which like one of the things I really like about the Republic of Tea is you can see like all the ingredients in the tea bag before you buy it. You can see, um, like they have this this thing on the site called the Tea Finder, so you can be like, oh, I want to find teas by the flavor. And then they have like, oh, I want it like a chocolate one or a berry one or a mint one or Earl Grey or vanilla or whatever. And they'll just show you a whole, whole bunch of teas. Or you can just look at all the teas and you'll spend forever. You'll spend forever looking at the teas. You really need to get you that sponsor. I just like them. <laughs> I just like them. They make good tea and they're pretty cheap. I had a good, um... This, this one that they had that's like specifically for hydration is this hibiscus tea. It's really good. It's in there like wellness teas. Which one was it? Oh, which one was it? It was really good. Making me want some tea? Have some tea. Have some... Uncaffeinated tea. Happy birthday! I just want to come in and say that. Hope you enjoy your stream and happy new year for your own birthday. Good luck. Stay safe. Thank you so much! My dry hibiscus tea immediately is very good. It's very good. Fan of oolong tea at all? Yeah, it's pretty good. I like tea. <laughs> pretty light on the stomach and leaves a pleasant taste. It does. Joy is freedom from the womb day, Nami. Hi, Nan. You've welcome. You you've come to tea talk. You've come to tea talk. <laughs> and thank you, thank you, Nan. Thank you, thank you. What is the tea? What is what is? Oh, it's their beauty, their beauty tea. It's called the Beautifying Botanicals Clean Beauty Herbal Tea Bags. It is a berry aloe tea. So it has sea buckthorn berry, aloe vera, hibiscus, rose hips, and milk thistle. It's very, very good. The irony of non coming in on tea talk. <laughs> Been teaching people not to uh, squeeze their tea bags. Various hell non came at the least cursed talk of the stream somehow. Avoided the toilet wine segment. Oh, brand is this tea that sounds delicious. It is the Republic of Tea. I'll send you. I'll send you a, a link, non. I'll DM you a link. It's very very good. This is my favorite brand of tea. They have so many so many good types. My. My like actual favorite uh, flavor from this brand is their strawberry chocolate tea. It's very good. They have a really good like chocolate coconut tea too. And they're very cheap. I want to be careful of milk thistle if you're allergic to ragweed. Oh. That sounds so good, doesn't it? They actually have like this... um. Like the cup of chocolate ones that they have are very popular. So they have a, a, a sampler box where you can get a whole bunch of the different types. The only one that I'm not like super into of their chocolate ones is the red velvet. The red velvet's okay, but it's not as good. The banana one is really good. The banana chocolate one, it actually, you can smell the banana. It's so cool. <laughs> it's so cool. It's so good. Don't know why I thought you'd be done by the time I got home from work. Am I new here or something? I don't know, Ark. Are you new here? <laughs> Good evening. Seems like it's been a fun stream. It has. It has. 
Don't really have chocolate, but that actually sounds like it could be tasty. It is good. It is good. So good. I love chocolate teas, right? They have a really good chocolate teas. Really good chocolate teas. Highly recommend. At least the cup of chocolate ones, and specifically the coconut, the strawberry, or the banana. The red velvet, red velvet one is okay, but it's not very good, in my opinion. It's not as good as the others, I should say. But I don't mind drinking it. Um, I will say, because of the fact that they do list the ingredients of the teas, definitely check if you don't like the flavor of um, non-sugar sweeteners. Because I got a tea once that I was like, man, that sounds good. And then whenever I actually made it, it uh, was not good because all I could taste was stevia. All I could taste was stevia because for some reason, they had... Stevia in the tea mix as one of the ingredients. Like, why would you put a sweetener in this? If I want it sweet, if I want it sweetened, I'll sweeten it. But I don't. Don't put stevia in the tea bag. Don't put stevia in my tea bag. Yeah, it sounded so good. It was a peppermint bark tea and I was so excited. I was like, oh man, that's gonna be so tasty. And so I didn't look at the ingredients and there was stevia. So whenever I made it, all I could taste was stevia. Which it, it tastes like fake sugar. It tastes like a chemical sweetener, even though it's like a natural one. It still tastes like that. It's so gross. Gonna head off to bed, Nami. Thank you for being born. You have, you've been a bright point in my life again lately. Oh, I can read. <laughs> Happy birthday. Enjoy the rest of it. Love you lots. Oh, thank you for coming by. Please, please, please rest well. Dude's name Steve losing it right now. No Steve's in my tea. Stevia does taste like sadness. Yeah, I don't like it. Why would you put Stevia in my perfectly good peppermint bark tea? I want it better. I want it better and it just wasn't. It just wasn't. I actually have a a um a sample from this company on my desk right now. It's one of their high calf teas, so I'll literally never drink it because it's more caffeine than a cup of coffee. <laughs> but I do have it. Oh, Genjo! Happy birthday, Nami. Hope you have a great day. Thank you, thank you so much. Have a mwah! <laughs> thank you, thank you. That's very, very sweet of you. Thank you so much. Welcome to uh, Tea Talk. <laughs> Welcome to Tea Talk. Teaching everyone about tea. One of my, my favorite teas that you can get like at a store very easily, you don't have to order it anywhere, is um, the Bigelow. The Bigelow Spearmint Tea is so good. So, so good. Almost sounds like a health hazard. Do you drink loose leaf? I used to drink mostly loose leaf, but now I just get bags. I'm lazy. I don't want to clean a tea strainer. I'm very lazy, and all the Republic of Tea uh, teas come in these really lovely tea tins. See if I can find that one here. Then, yeah, yeah. I like having the spearmint Bigelow tea in the morning. It's a black tea, so it has caffeine, but it's really not like too bad in caffeine. I first had it at a hotel, actually. <laughs> because it was one of the teas that you could get, like, the, the breakfast. Bigelow. Bigelow. B-I-G-E-L-O-W. Got a hibiscus sweet tea from a drive-thru and it had stevia. Oh, no. That's so gross. Stop putting stevia in teas. Bigelow is a safe brand to get. Lemon Lift and Perfectly Mint are great. Yeah, I get the, um, I think they call it Plantation Mint. Oh, it's, it's Perfectly Mint now. They changed the name. Yeah, that's the Spearmint one that I get. I like that one so much. 
And then I have their, um, their ginger and lemon tea. That's, uh, something I'll drink whenever my throat isn't great or if I am gonna do something that's gonna make me motion sick. The lemon ginger is very good. I like their teas. They're also very easy to grab at a store. Let me hide my body for a moment so I can... <laughs> I can fix my tracking. I was a little off center. <laughs> I do have multiple mints, but I have no idea if it's due to region. I see mint medley when in Canada. Oh, what is mint medley? Gonna take the hat off now? Yeah, we can take the hat off. No, just kidding. All three hats, they stay. The mint medley is an herbal tea. That's the difference between it and like the perfectly mint. Cause the perfectly mint is um, a, a black tea with uh, mint. But the mint medley is just spearmint and peppermint. So it's an herbal tea, so it doesn't have the, uh, the, 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 um, the caffeine. Doesn't have the caffeine. <laughs> it's just peppermint, spearmint, rosehip, lemon peel, and hibiscus. Don't tease us with bald nami like that. All right, you guys want a bald nami? <laughs> I forgot about bald nami. Hold on. Let me go through some effort. Hold on. <laughs> I guess I can show you Bald Nami and then we can end the stream. If you guys want to see Bald Nami that bad, we got to end the stream right after. You guys are too excited for Bald Nami. I have to like look through all the 8,000. All the 8,000 models that I have in my files. She never shows us, she never ends the stream. That's not how that works. <laughs> That's not how that works. All right, do you want bald with the veil or without the veil? Without? With, without, without, you, you want fully bald? Okay. All right, I can go fully bald. Hold on. Okay. disappear for a moment. Yo! I'll come back. <gasps> Bald. <laughs> Bald. I'm bald here.
Bald Nami. Bald Nami. Expecting you to have a ball patch like a cap on no. <laughs> There's no ball patch. It feels so weird to not have the hat though. I've gotten so used to it. I have gotten so used to the hat. <laughs> Hot and bald. Oh thanks, non. <laughs> Can I get a full body with bald? Yeah, okay. Let me just... Squeeze real small. Let me just squeeze real small up here. Yeah, here you go. Do 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 Bald. Tiny, bald. Tiny, bald. Tiny bald, tiny bald. Here you go, my my bald head. My bald head, no hat. No hat to speak of. And now I must come back. I was not stepping on Shia. I was very, very certain to keep my feet away from them. I was very, very certain to keep my feet away from them. Pew! I return. <laughs> no longer bald. No longer bald. Everything is back where it should be. Everything's back exactly where it belongs. Head, hatted, and veiled. <laughs> Being so unbald is a little strange, don't you think? No. <laughs> I drew you bald in my art. Oh, you did. That's right. Yeah, my hat was off. My hat was off. <laughs> kind of getting addicted to bald, Nami. Oh my god. You guys are wild. You guys are wild. You're bald. You're bald. I gotta have a hat. How are people supposed to know that I'm a healer without my hat? Always a wild, what of it, nerd? You know what? I can call you wild. You always wild. <laughs> Happy B day. Looking forward to more since I'm new. Thank you so much, Yagi. Thank you, thank you. Being bald offers maximum palm coverage so we can pick you up like a basketball. Yeah. Yeah. Just full uh, palm hole pick me up <laughs> like a basketball and dunk me. <laughs> That said, I think we are going to end. I'm out of water. I'm tired. I need to sleep. We're, we're starting to hit the tank on empty because it's about to be midnight and I've been up since 6 a.m. <laughs> I've been up since 6 a.m. It's about to be midnight. I've been awake way too long <laughs> I gotta sleep happy birthday once again thank you 
Thank you. Thank you everyone so much for coming. I'm so happy to have been able to have this lovely day with you all and see all the lovely things that you you said and gave me. Yeah, I just saw that I saw the Zagreus Nindo is up for pre-order. I'm gonna have to pre-order that soon. As well, Nami. Thank you, Nan. Enjoy shopping for tea. <laughs> Hope you had a happy birthday. It was great. I loved it. You guys made it really, really fantastic and special. Adorable seeing the nerves in the beginning. I was very nervous. I was like, why am I nervous? This is stupid. I haven't been nervous for a stream in so long. <laughs> I haven't been nervous in a, for a stream in so long. This is dumb. Thanks for the stream. Hope you had a good birthday. I did. It was very, very lovely. Y'all made it very wonderful. Well, you can go listen to the voice pack once I end the stream. <laughs> once I end the stream. I guess you can finally go do that. Wonderful to spend it with you. Happy birthday, you cute girl. Adorable dork. No, you guys are adorable dorks. <laughs> You guys are adorable dorks. Oh, my beans card was not too great. I love the beans card. I loved it. I'm glad we got to be chained in beans. <laughs> yeah, my namey. You already did. I told you not to yet. Told you not to yet. SMH. Didn't listen. Didn't listen. Bad at following directions. Huzzah for the healer and her birthday. Thank you, Vesperam. Huzzah to the tipper. <laughs> Huzzah to the tipper. Listen to it tomorrow because I'm going to bed. Listen to the good night. Listen to the good night voice. Perfect for that situation. <laughs> Perfect for that situation. Yeah, there you go. You get a lovely good night. The good night voice is good. I wanted to make the good night voice and the good morning voice uh, something that would be nice to, to end and start your day with. Nice and motivational on both ends. On both ends for the day. I was like, alright, what would be good for my dear heroes to hear in the morning and in the evening? To help rest their weary souls and wake up and energize them. And that was what I got for you guys. Oh, you got to see her without hat? Yeah, you got to see bald Nami. <laughs> Gonna have your alarm set up? There you go, perfect. Have a lovely rest. I'll be copying the birthday merch when I get home from work. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. If we didn't finish some stuff with shorter time, can we still send you them when we finish? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. And you can put it in the normal hashtags too, so I'll be certain to see it. I'll be certain to see it. I'll attempt to remember uh, the I had to check it. I'll attempt to remember to check the uh, the birthday hashtag for the next few days just in case. But if not, please make sure to also tag the normal stuff. Just so that I, I know I'll, I'll have a better chance of seeing it. But with that, I need the sleepies. I'll remind you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate reminders. I need the sleepies. I gotta ask the squirrel to very kindly move off of my pillow, so wish me good luck. She's like conked out. <laughs> She's like... 
She's like dead asleep. I guess I might have to use the other pillow tonight. <laughs> might have to use the other pillow tonight. A great night's sleep, my healer. I will do my best. I have to um, remember whenever I wake up tomorrow to get the other waiting rooms up, especially for our spooky ASMR. Cause that'll be that'll be a nice thing. I found a, a fun little book with an amalgamation mm, no not amalgamation a collection of spooky stories to read so we're gonna have lots of spooky stories i don't know if i'm gonna try the ear to ear setup that i have right now because it's a little scuffed so we might still keep it just the one ear until i can upgrade the ear to ear because i thought i was gonna be a okay with what I got and I didn't like it. It's not enough. I want to upgrade it a little bit. So that'll be up to you guys. I'll let you pick whenever the stream happens. It will be our first public ASMR. I'm gonna keep the stacked overlay. No, it's gonna get cleared off. <laughs> it's gonna get cleared off. I know we like it whenever I have just everything everywhere, but I gotta clear it off. <laughs> but yes, but yes, but yes. Sleepies. Sleepies, sleepies. Unless she forgores, I, I probably will, and then I'll have to clear it off real quick at the beginning of the stream. <laughs> at the beginning of stream. Hoping to watch the aftermath tomorrow for the after party. We'll see if I remember to clean it. Before stream starts. Yes, I'm gonna I'm sleep. I'm gonna sleep. Well, I'm probably gonna get some water and then sleep. Because I'm I'm a little parched. I'm a little parched. Um. But I will see you guys tomorrow for ASMR. And until then, I love you all so much. Please have a wonderful rest of your day or night, <laughs> wherever you are. Yeah, go watch the cameo. Say hi to uh, Naomi and the Herogis. Uh <laughs> Please enjoy it. I know I'll enjoy it many, many times over. Still need to watch the cameo? Please do, it's very, very good. <laughs> it's very good, I love it. <laughs> you do name me, have a good, great rest? Yeah, I'll do my best. My hero just better uh, have a good rest of their day or night. <laughs> alright, I will see you guys very soon. Alright, alright, alright? Uh, bye! Okay, all right. Bye for real. Bye for real. Bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> Big mwah, mwah for everyone for making a very special birthday. All right. All right. Good night. Good night. Bye. <laughs>